be fine. We're gonna get through this chat. One of these days, we'll finish this challenge. <laughs> it's gonna be so fine. It's gonna be totally, totally fine. Oh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, hi, welcome back to the 100 baby challenge. No, why do I always leave myself with an infant? Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Deep breath, we'll get there. Deep breath. <laughs> oh, I didn't update the bot command either. Maybe one of the mods will do it. We'll see what happens. It's not, you know, that big of a deal. I'd probably leave it. Anyway, here's the deal. Here's the plan. We need to play the baby challenge because it's been a while since I last played and we need to catch back up with things because it's not going well. Um, and, and we need to try harder to finish this. Uh, I'm noticing that last time we played, I forgot that I tried to upgrade the house a little bit. So we have a garage now. And we've had 42 babies. My sim is, I assume, pregnant. Yeah, pregnant with the next one. And we're gonna get through this. Thank you, Tilly. We are suffering and playing the 100 baby challenge. Perfect. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. Can't go wrong there. Yeah, we need to have a 124 babies total, but let's not... Let's not get into that yet, okay? <laughs> Let's not even discuss that right now. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> we have to have 124 because I promised I would restart the challenge um, if we raised $500,000 for St. Jude, and I didn't think that we would, but then we did. Um, and so I had to restart after 24 babies. So what we're gonna do is go to 124 um, except there's really no point in calling it the 124 baby challenge because it's just going to confuse people. So we kind of leave that part out until, um, until we get closer to it mattering, you know? Hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> Hopefully that makes sense. You like today's YouTube video? Oh, good. I'm glad that you like it. Um, I had fun with that one. So I'm glad that you enjoyed it. <laughs> How many skills? We have a lot of level 10 skills, I think. Well, we got parenting, painting, cooking. Entrepreneur is, is five, not 10, but that's pretty good too. I'm working on the wellness skills so I can teleport at the moment as well. <laughs> Laura, Erica, Jens, KS, and Spark, and Cowboy, and Casey, and Ayla, and Bailey, and Renee, and Spicy, and Bonnie, and Lady, and Kate, and Jules, and Venus, and Lurking, and Isabella, and Avo, and Leopard, and Jenny, and Kayla. Thank you all for the subs. Okay, I have a cat update for you for today. This is from mere moments ago. Um, <laughs> this one I, I think will make you laugh. So let me show you. <laughs> so a, a second ago, um, I was downstairs obviously with the cats um, and Snap was like sitting near the coffee table cause she was trying to play with one of her toys. Um, and Sunny saw Snap playing with the toy and was like, this is my moment. And so Sunny went underneath the coffee table to like come watch her. Um, and coffee table is a good call to be honest because you're sort of covered, you're protected. She couldn't see her at first. So that was smart. Um, this is what happened when Snap noticed Sunny underneath the coffee table. <laughs> we had a little bit of a stare down. <laughs> All you can see are just her eyes. So she's, they're staring at each other, just staring at each other. Um, and then Snap hissed at her. And then she got more scared. Um, so this kind of made me laugh. Also, it looks like Snap's got a whole chunk out of her back. It's because she had the part of her fur on her back shaved when she had the cyst removed. But in this angle, it looks like there was a chunk taken out of that cat. <laughs> but you can kind of tell, like, her fur is, um, it's, like, shaved right there. But <laughs> it looks really funny. <laughs> It looks like a chunk was taken out of her, but I swear she's fine. It's healed even. It's just that, like it hasn't grown back all the way, obviously. <laughs> anyway, I thought you would like this because it made me laugh. So there's little Sunny. <laughs> Why did you take a bite out of Snap? <laughs> Isn't that so cute though? Snap just hates her. No, she doesn't hate her. We just don't want her to get too close. And this objectively, Sunny did get too close. That was Sunny's fault. Sunny did that on purpose and she should have known what was going to happen to her. So don't feel bad for her. Sunny climbed under there to stare at her. She knew what she was doing. She knew. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're gonna play the 100 baby challenge today. I might as well just like start unpausing the game, huh? So we can get some work done. 
She's got a headphone dent from playing too much Sims all day. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, can I upload the house I'm playing into the gallery? It already is on the gallery, Galaxy. I've got a few versions of this on the gallery, even. Um, so it is up there. Scott, Brandy, Jack, and Bug, and Megan, and Witchy, and Victoria, and Brandy again with the sub gift, um, and, and the bits as well. Pie Lime, April, Pay, Cindy, Laura, Erica, thank you so much. The only way we can ever finish unpausing <laughs> is by, finish this challenge is by unpausing. Yeah, I know, Christine. Don't feel bad for her, ma'am, that's a baby. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Sunny is just a baby, but the babies, they know that Snap will hiss at them and they still try and get near her. So, you know, you know. <laughs> they're, they're both babies. Snap's just a 15 year old baby, right? 15 weeks, 15 years, <laughs> both the same age basically. Oh, that was 5,800. That's pretty good actually. Okay, let's go take care of the actual baby, though. This one's a baby. I need to feed it. Hopefully soon they will be besties. Yeah, I hope so. Sunny um, is getting more, uh, like, excited about being near Snap. Shrimp has always been fascinated by Snap. Sunny's a little bit like, ooh, this lady's grumpy. Um, but, t like, the past few days, Sunny has been like, I want to be near you. I want to be near you. Um, which is, you know, maybe not so good for Snap, but <laughs> they're, they're, um, they're not scared off by her, basically. <laughs> Snap, uh, Snap's grumpy, grumpiness is not scaring them away. It just takes time. It's very normal. Like, cats are territorial. This is, like, perfectly normal when it comes to introducing cats. Some cats do better at it than others, but, um, Snap is, like, this is sort of to be expected from her. She's a grumpy old lady only child, so... And she's, she's busy asserting her dominance, you know? <laughs> Setting some boundaries and stuff. <laughs> and that's totally fine. That's perfectly normal. Okay, how are you doing on your milestones, child? None. Cool, so I really did play and then immediately, I had the baby and then I immediately stopped. <laughs> I always do this to myself. I always like uh, leave myself a brand new infant for the next time I play. Cause I'll be like, I'll just worry about this next time. I'll worry about that next time. I don't need to take care of it right now. I'll, I'll age the baby up and then just end the stream and I'll worry about it next time. And now it's next time. Um, and I, it was a mistake. I even said it last time. I was like, oh, I'll worry about it later. <laughs> now I've got a fresh infant. <sighs> oh well. I'm glad they're friends, Era. That makes me feel- that makes me feel good about it. So, the, if it's not the consequences of my own actions. <laughs> Live dead milestones! See, that's good. We're getting somewhere. Grades are up! Oh, that's also good. See, now we really are getting somewhere. Okay. Um, tummy time. Tummy time. Okay, how are we doing? You, my friend. A student! I can kick you out. Okay. Also, I swear- you're an A student, you're an A student. Oh, both the teens can go away. Ooh, that might not be good. That's all right. That's all right. We'll get rid of them. Clearing out the house and having less sims is actually a good thing. There's a crown on the plum bob because we have a baby daddy active gathering happening right now. Don't worry about it, okay? <laughs> it is our first matriarch. Yeah, we haven't had more than one mom. Um, we just had this one. You don't need to worry too much about, um, the Sims or anything and who's around in this household. Cause they're all gonna go away. Like, speak now. Is, uh, soon to leave us. It's lagging. Add birthday candles. Come here. Come here. Try again. We'll get the other teen aged up too. Come here. You also had an A in school. Come on. Anyway, basically what we have to do is get all the kids A's in school and aged up and out at its core. That's the whole way. Oh, you know what I was going to do, I think, was try to get to know this guy because I was going to have a baby with him next. So maybe I'll do that in a second. Roll over to back milestone. Oh, even better. We can be done with the infant milestone thing now. Okay. Yeah, and the rainbows are from a lot trait. I think it's the good schools lot trait, if I remember correctly. Um, but those are from a lot trait. 
Oh my god, lag, 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 lag. Okay. You look at all your toys, and your mom is gonna come get this man to like me. Where did he go? Start it again, if you must. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> We'll, we'll talk to him so he can be the next baby daddy. Did they eat the cake? Oh my god. We're gonna make a new one. That's fine. It's fine. Tell a funny story. Um, try this. Okay. Okay, and then we can kick these two out. I'll just sell this cake, to be honest. Anybody else feel stressed? <laughs> the beginning of these is always like a whole thing. Do I dress my kids or are they just random? Your sims look amazing. Oh no, I haven't dressed them a single time. It's nice of you to say they look amazing. These are honestly, they're not looking too bad right now. We've definitely seen worse. So it's nice of you to say they look good because I don't even know if that's true, but. Okay, you come talk to this bear kid. Good. After I talk to this guy a little bit, I'll probably, um, kick the teens out. Or I guess they're young adults now, they're not even teens anymore. But we can take kick them out next. Title needs changing. No, I, I it's updated. It says Hunter Baby Challenge. If you if you can't see it, maybe try refreshing or something. Um, but the title is correct. The title is in fact correct. It's uh, it says we're playing the baby challenge. Um do you want to play with the toys next too? Good. Anyway, Madam Flash, Ronnie, Ducky, Darth, Bonnie, Slytherin, Wistful, Macchiato, Marty, Elizabeth, thank you all so much. Oh, okay. Is he in love with me yet? I don't think so. You see it too? You see the old title too? That's so weird. I can, the title is updated. I can see that it has the right title. Twitch is busy being ridiculous sometimes, huh? That's okay. Anyway, I what I want to do with this guy is basically get him to like me enough that I'll be able to woohoo with him when I give birth to this baby. We we try to be like a baby ahead every time. Maybe don't declare your love for him. But we try to be like ready with the next baby daddy as soon as we can. So that way, um, as soon as the time comes, <laughs> we'll be ready to go and try for the next baby. We've been trying to keep her from aging up because she's one day from, or two days from being an adult. And so uh, if she's pregnant, she doesn't age. So the longer we stay pregnant, um, the less she will age. Okay. No, I didn't go to the Eras to Ruby yesterday. I I don't know. I, I think I'm a little bit too anxious to go see the movie in theaters this week. Um, a, I'm really busy, because I'm pre-recording for TwitchCon. I'm um, almost done, but I'm getting there. Um, but also, B, uh, the thought of going kind of makes me a little anxious. So, I don't know. I might wait until things calm down a little bit. Opening weekend seems like a lot for me, personally. I just, I'm scared of crowds and noise and loud and everything, so. Oh no, you guys, we're getting really close to needing to expand the baby basement. All right. Uh, so other C, all the names of the babies were suggested by people from chat. We did not name any of them ourselves. Um, they were all suggested by people that donated to my charity stream back in May. And we have a big old spreadsheet of all the names and we randomize a number off of it. So, um, that's how, that's what we do. I pull a random number and then we name the baby that. You put on a fitted sheet all by yourself? Nice! Maybe time for a second hallway. Yeah, I think we can expand it. Um, we're running out of space to expand this way is sort of part of the problem. But maybe I could try to extend it out this way for now. I could like move the whole thing over. Kind of like, we'll do something like this or something and then get some more space. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I think that this child might be ready to age up too. It needs to have three, level three and three skills, and we do have that. Okay, I'm gonna bake another cake. No, you know what I'll do is kick the teens out. Let me do that first. 
We just aged up the two oldest kids into young adults a second ago, so I'm gonna kick them out. When she can teleport, it won't be a problem. That's true, life's gonna be good once we get our teleporting unlocked. Nice. <laughs> Jay Hart, that's a purple daisy. Thank you for the subs, everybody. I appreciate that. Okay. Um, would you like to go away? No, you can't kick them out when they're teens. You have to kick them out once they uh, age up into young adults, because that's part of the challenge. Part of the challenge is to have them get an A in high school, um, and then they can move out. So we can't do that yet, but now, now we can. Okay, I'll stick them. Um, maybe, where do they want to live? Oasis Springs, maybe? Is it hard to keep track of the babies? Um, if I'm being completely honest with you guys, I, I don't think that I could name a single one of the kids that I have in my house right now. I, I don't know the names of a single one of the children that I have in the house right now. No, the infant's called B. I saw that a second ago. I don't know their names. I don't care about their names. I mostly just care about getting rid of them. <laughs> um, one of them was called Speak Now. Yeah, she just aged up and moved out. Um, but yeah, you, you kind of just have to... Um, you can't worry about that. You have to worry about taking care of yourself and and getting rid of them and, and stuff, but you can't really allow yourself to worry about the babies. Because they just go away after, after you're done. Okay, I'll bake this cake. Kids, what are you doing? You're a B student. You need to come work carefully on your project. You also, kiddo. This one's gonna age up. And this one is not fine, but I think this one is almost ready to age up. No! Oh no, we need lots more things. Lots more firsts. Okay. Yikes. Oh, and yeah, I usually- I've been killing the dads as soon as we're done trying for a baby with them, and I keep them in my basement. I have a whole grave full of- or a basement full of graves, so. In parenthood, you can't let yourself worry about remembering your children's names. Yeah, you don't need to worry about your children's names. Don't let that- don't let that concern you. You know, just worry about the things that matter. <laughs> the highlight of the challenge is killing off the dads, I agree. I, I really feel strongly about that, I think. So, three milestones each? No, we play with two milestones in each of the categories. Uh, level three and three skills for the toddler, but two milestones for the, the babies is what I've been doing. I don't really know or care what other people do. Um, I know what works for me, so. <laughs> Witchy, thank you for the sub gift. Okay, come here. Let's get some candles help. Time to age you up, little one. Sometimes you don't even bake up a cake, you just cheat to age them up, oh my goodness. That's maybe what I should be doing, but I, I think it's okay to have the cake. Usually it's fine, because I usually have the same cake over and over again. Um, but the Sims last time ate the cake before I had a chance to put candles back on it, so. Happy birthday, child! Okay. Kleptomaniac. Yikes. Well, good for you. What are your problems? Hungry and tired. I need food. Yeah, I usually just keep a cake in the fridge with candles on it, basically. Um, but I aged up more than one Sim last time and then things went bad. Oh my god, it's lagging so much. Oh my goodness. I might need to close- maybe I should close the game and reopen it. Because it's been struggling, huh? You add birthday candles to this. Yeah, I'm gonna close the game and reopen it, because it's not doing well. Sometimes a full- full restart helps. After 40 babies, I got tired of them taking a slice of the cake so no one gets cake now. <laughs> I respect that. That's good. I don't blame you. Uh-oh. Okay, let's try again. Open The Sims 4. We have had a baby with Vlad, yeah. So Vlad is long dead now. We we did do that. <laughs> oh, we've had a baby with a lot of the townies. I almost, like, I would argue almost most of the townies we've had babies with. So, we're getting there. We are getting there. 
you stream on same PC. Are you asking if like I have a separate gaming PC and streaming PC? Are you implying that that's weird? Cause that's like really abnormal. <laughs> no one who's, who plays The Sims or, or does a lot of the games that I play has a separate streaming and gaming PC. That would be a massive waste of my money to buy a second one. Um, I'm sure that some people maybe um, will benefit from that with other games that are maybe a little bit more intensive, but that's so unnecessary with The Sims. It's not my PC that's struggling with this, it's the game that's struggling. <laughs> the game just is not good. <laughs> um, this will happen on anybody's computer, so... Anyway... That's not really normal to have a separate gaming <laughs> streaming PC! <sighs> Some people do. Not pe not people I know, really, though. Because you only have base game, how can you age the infants? Some people that only have the base game, um will do, like, they'll use rules where you have to try and have the infants try a lot of different foods. Um, so... You can Google the rules and it'll help you find it. Sounds expensive. Yeah, but a lot of times when people have a separate streaming and a separate gaming PC, they'll have, like, two, like, lesser, uh, quality, not quality is the right, wrong word, but they'll have, like, two lesser PCs and then you're streaming off one and playing the game off the other and it helps with, like, performance, um, which can be better if you're playing a more high-intensity game, but, like, with The Sims, you don't need that, um, and, uh, I, like, I just have, I have, like, one expensive computer instead of two moderately expensive computers. <laughs> so, anyway, I know how it works, I just don't have a need for that, um, anyway, um, see, not lagging anymore, beautiful. Beautiful and clean and smooth. All right, kid, you ate, right? Now you go to sleep. How about you guys? Mm, can you try and finish it? We'll see how that goes. The baby, I will come feed. Baby care, feed, breastfeed, okay. Here we go. Everything's fine. They finished the project and the baby had its first blowout milestone. I feel really stressed out. <laughs> this challenge gets to me, like, every time. <laughs> okay, you're almost done with yours, right? I hope. You're doing a Taylor Swift like this challenge? That's kind of fun. I've seen people make rules for some fun challenges like that. I haven't played one myself, but... Toothpaste passed away due to starvation? Uh-oh, you guys. Uh-oh. Okay. Hold on. I did just kill another rat, so let's- let's go back. Hold on one second. We've got stuff to do here. Um, so here's my spreadsheet. As you can see, toothpaste has just unfortunately passed away. Um, so let's get a name suggestion <laughs> for the next rat. Um, okay, so let me scroll all the way down. We'll see how many is on the list, because I keep forgetting. We have 1,669 names on the list. This list was completely uh, suggested by people who donated to our charity stream back in May, and we're randomizing baby names and rat names off of this. That's how all of them have been named. We have 325 is the name of this rat. 325. I like to scroll because I think it's kind of fun with the suspense. Smelly! Ah. Okay, green is the color of the rats, right? I think so. Smelly. That's actually really good. I'm sad that a kid didn't get that name. Let's... Oh. Toothpaste is right there. I got scammed! It was the glitch where the- it's the baby whisked away rat glitch! Oh my god. Okay, how about this? We name the next baby Smelly. We name the next baby Smelly. We'll just say we already picked it. Okay, next baby is gonna be named Smelly. Okay. I'll make that yellow, because it'll be a baby's name. <laughs> two rats, though? I don't think I want to have two rats. It's gonna get too confusing if we have a second rat. 
The glitch is that the rodents from My First Pet Stuff, uh, it says, oh, it's starved. And then they get a baby whisked away moodlet, except the rat didn't starve and there was no baby that got whisked away. So that's, that's the glitch. It's really weird. Um, but anyway, hopefully we can go get our bubble bath. You're going to bed. You are in bed. You're asleep too. Everyone to sleep. I guess you can't finish this. Just go to bed. It's a really, really odd glitch. It's It's been happening for years. Like, ever since my first pet stuff. See? It's been happening for years. Ever since my first pet stuff first came out. Um, it's really, really annoying. Really, really, really annoying. <laughs> um... No, Grace, like, your rat can actually die. It's just glitching. This rat's not dead. There, you, you do have rats die for real of starvation and, and from old age. Um, but, uh, that's not what's happening to this one. It's glitched. So, another reason not to buy my first pet stuff. Yeah, exactly. Can you put the kid to bed? Can you put the kid to bed? Can you put the kid to bed? Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, okay. Oh, sorry, I was gonna go to manage worlds. I don't have to. Put B to bed. Wait. Put B to bed. There's a reason I can't handle this save. <laughs> this is the reason. Okay. You're asleep. You come clean this rat's habitat. She's got a crown above her plum bob because there's an active club gathering happening. Um, so that she's like the leader of the club, so that's why that's there. I just ended it. I have the club so I can meet baby daddies. <laughs> um, and I had a club gathering so that he would come over so I could uh, romance him. <laughs> but that's what the crown above her plum bob means. Everybody always gets really confused by that. If you don't play with clubs a lot, you wouldn't know. But, yeah, that's why. <laughs> of course, makes perfect sense. Kara, Xavier, Rebecca, Oz, Aaron, Milo, Tuna, thank you for the subs. Oh my god, the number of times- I thought that this rat wasn't glitched because we hadn't happened to us and we hadn't had it happen to us in a while and now it's happening again. I don't know how much more of this I can take. Try a different shower bath combo. You mean like you think this one is glitched and that's why uh, that was happening? It might be. Um, we could get just like a nice fancy bathtub instead, but I don't think that it's gonna make a difference. I, if we did like a plain bathtub instead of a shower tub combo, that might be better. Should I try and buy this? Oh, maybe we should try and buy the expensive one. I can do some more painting tomorrow. No, the bathroom is not too small. Um, that I do bathrooms that size all the time. They're, the game's just glitchy, you guys. The game's just glitchy. <laughs> Shower tub combos are kind of glitchy, um, and the infants are kind of glitchy. So when you combine the two things, it is bad. <laughs> Curly, Salad, Rebecca, Kara, thank you for the subs. It's just because it's The Sims. <laughs> the mom is two days away from being an adult. They don't age when they're pregnant, so we've been managing to keep her as a young adult for a long time. Things are going pretty well with that. Get leftovers. I guess you can come take a shower. And then after that, do you wanna resume the figure painting? Uh-oh, what's wrong with the kid? Why didn't you sleep? Oh my God. Double the glitch, double the fun. Right, of course. Anyway, I got distracted. Uh, somebody asked if you have to have a different dad for each pregnancy, and the answer is yes. I think that it's kind of more fun that way, too, um, to play with a different dad for each pregnancy, because it gives you, like, an added challenge to try and do, where you have to, like, also romance extra people, um, which I think is a little bit more fun than just trying to have the same dad over and over again, because that's easy to get pregnant again. Can you ever run out of dads? I mean, not very easily, because there's a lot of townies and they keep regenerating. 
Even after all, the original ones are all dead, the townies do regenerate, so that helps. Okay, they don't need to have this sad moodlet because no baby was whisked away. That's from the rat glitch, so we don't need to make them go through that. They shouldn't have that. See? Toothpaste did not pass away. Toothpaste is right there. Oh, I don't want to have to get rid of the rat. What's more fun? Not so berry or 100 baby? Oh, I think by far not so berry, Katie. 100 baby is horrible. I actually hate this challenge and I'm only doing this because of charity. So it's worth it. But <laughs> um, this isn't like my favorite thing to do. <laughs> It's not even a rat, it's a void critter. That's the worst part about it, too. Anyway, Katie, Megan, thank you for the subs. All right, kids are at school. You can study hard so we can try and get you A's. What are you doing? You go to school, too. The Oh my god, the rat was not... Oh. Maybe I should try and replace the rat. Hold on. I know what to do. Let's just get another one. Like a fresh one. And I'll name it Toothpaste 2. And we'll see if that stops glitching as much. I guess I could probably add Toothpaste 2 onto the spreadsheet. Right? It wasn't- Toothpaste didn't die. What about like- Hold on, let me get another emoji. We'll put like, cause we had to delete toothpaste. So we'll put the X <laughs> to make it clear. We, we use the emoji so uh, you can tell which babies have died and stuff. <laughs> toothpaste, wait. Okay, <laughs> that'll do. That'll work. Oh, do you not have school today? Oh, good, okay. You can work on school projects then. Is one of these yours? No? Okay, kid, let's get to work. Try and build you some skills. That's actually really funny. <laughs> and then we can sell this. What happened to the first one again? To the rat? I just had to delete it because it kept glitching. And we're gonna see if uh, replacing it makes it glitch less. And the male's here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Mervin, Katie, Megan, thank you for the subs. Liv, I do get notifications if you subscribe with Prime. Did I not read your thing out loud? I thought I did. Maybe I said it in my head and not out loud. If not, Liv, thank you for the sub. I really appreciate it. <laughs> sometimes I, um, when I'm very distracted, like on a day like today with all these sims in my household, I, sometimes I uh, say things in my head and I think that I said it out loud, but I didn't. So that might have happened. I don't know. I have a real bad habit of that, though. Chat will tell you, I do it a lot. <laughs> it happens with my friends, too, where, like, I think I said hi to someone who just came in. Leave me alone. But actually, I didn't say it out loud. I just said it in my head. Meat walls calling. Okay, we can afford the bathtub now. Okay. And uh, the other thing is that sometimes with Prime subs, but only with Prime resubs, uh, you, have to, you have to play the alert yourself. Um, so you, like, subscribe and then refresh, and then you can play the alert. And that kind of confuses people at times. They don't really understand why they have to do that, but it looks like yours was a first time sub, so I don't think that's what happened to you. I see it in my alert list. And sometimes people just don't hear me. Um, sometimes they just didn't hear me say it. <laughs> and that happens too, but eh, it's no big deal. Okay. Uh, baby care. Let's feed the baby. And then, how are you doing, kid? You have... Milestone-wise, you just need a couple more social milestones, yes? So I'll have you maybe, like, talk to your mom or something. Smile at Rosa. Smile at Rosa. Smile at Rosa. Smile at Rosa. See what we can do. Okay. Maybe watch Rosa, too? I don't know. So we can age this baby up. <laughs> to be free and knit and chew and vermin. Thank you for the subs. Thorby, so unfortunately we can't suggest names right now. Um, all of the names that we, we are using are names that were people. All the names that we have 
were suggested by people who donated $25 to our charity stream back in May. We did a massive fundraiser for, um, you just filled it by yourself. We did a massive fundraiser for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital back in May, and we ended up raising $500,000. Um, and so we are doing this whole challenge because of that, and all of the names were like basically predetermined because of the fundraiser. So um, it was a very effective fundraising tool, <laughs> uh, but it kind of stinks because we can't, we can't uh, use the names anymore. Uh, we can't get new names, I mean, but I think that's okay. I, how do I get them to have more social milestones? Can I try and make you fuss? See if that helps. Please? Please? Chomp. Smile at. Grades are up! Oh, good! Oh my goodness. So you, googly eyes, are an A, and so does your brother, Turnip. Oh my gosh, you guys, we're gonna get these kids aged up quick. Okay. Blow out candles. Yes! Alright, outgoing is a good trait to have as well. Ooh, I like your makeup! I, I personally wouldn't have paired that lipstick with that eyeshadow, but that's okay. You do whatever you want, bestie. You go channel surf. Okay, blow out candles. We might try to have some twins soon. You've got an A as well. Dance machine! Okay. Add birthday candles. Add birthday candles! Okay, good. Yeah, I like seeing how they randomize when they age up. It's always kind of fun to see what traits and stuff they end up with. I always find it kind of interesting. They have rainbows over their head because we have the good schools lot trait. So he's benefiting from the good schools lot trait right now. And that's why it looks like that. Is this yours? I think, I don't really know whose that is, but you can go work on this. And you can go work on this. And you can go work on this. Or, well, you can eat first and then go work on it. Oh my god. Do you guys have any tips for how I can trick this infant to getting another social milestone? I'm serious. Because usually they just happen to me. Oh, do I have to talk to it instead of it talking to me? That makes a lot more sense. Um, small talk. I'll just talk to you. We're not gonna practice sitting. Maybe I'll read you a book too. I guess I can talk to my own child. <laughs> what are you doing? <sighs> okay. Play peekaboo. How about that? You keep putting the kid outside. Oh, I'm. Are oh, you not gonna read to it? Okay. Okay. I don't even know what to do for you. I'm serious. I'm like starting to think that you're, it's a lost cause. There's not a new shell challenge, no Caroline. We are gonna do a shell challenge probably on Monday on stream, um, but there's not a new one right now that's open. Okay, I'm playing peekaboo. Did that work? No. What is wrong with you? Uh. Okay. This is fine. Everything's fine. I hate this challenge. I hate this challenge. I genuinely, genuinely hate it. Why'd you just put it on the floor? There is a shell on my gallery, but I haven't- so I'm pre-recording right now for TwitchCon. Um, so I'm going to post that video on Tuesday. I- I- it's not meant to be like a full giant shell that we're going to be doing all together as a group. It's like a- I made a puzzle in two seconds for a YouTube video. This was not meant to be a thing for everyone to do. I haven't posted the video yet because I'm pre-recording for TwitchCon. Um, but that's not like the shell that we're going to be doing as a community on stream or anything. Um, that was uh, me trying to do a YouTube video because I'm pre-recording for TwitchCon. <laughs> there wasn't a lot of thought put into the shell, basically. 
we'll do a better one for the for the proper shell with everyone together. I still think it's a fun shell, but I don't want to do a puzzle shell with everybody because we did one recently. So, um, okay, you're miserable. Yikes. Okay, I'll give you a bath then. Anyway, sorry, I, people keep asking about it. <laughs> so I have to keep being like, no, it's not the shell. We're gonna do a different shell. <laughs> We've done a tiny home shell recently. We haven't done a tiny house shell uh, in a while, no. We were thinking about doing a small-ish shell. I don't know if I want it to be tiny, but we'll see. We will see. I don't like this baby. Put B to sleep. Don't, don't, you didn't see anything, okay? You could do a four-story shell. <laughs> okay, well, one thing to keep in mind also about that is that I am going to TwitchCon uh, this week, so we only have a couple days to build the shell before I leave for TwitchCon. So if we do a big giant one, um, we won't be able to finish it before I go to TwitchCon, which isn't the worst thing in the world, but is also like probably not ideal because it'd be nice um, to be done with it before I'm away, you know? <laughs> It might not be so good if we have a giant one that we can't finish in time. How often is TwitchCon? It's like once a year. It's like once a year. So it was last October and now this October. Um, they do have, a, or they, they did have a European TwitchCon this year also um, in Paris, but I didn't go to that one. I'm going to sell these, I think, and just buy fresh ones because I, I feel like the people who used to have those have aged up. Inviting someone over and introducing them. Oh, that's a good way to get it. We could do that. I think I will. Okay. Um, you're fine. You can come take care of your needs. Maybe get some leftovers. My kid is here. I'm probably gonna give birth any second, huh? Yeah. We're in our third trimester, so we'll give birth any minute. Okay, well, we'll see if we can, um, if we can invite someone that can come meet this baby. Come on. What's the count? We have 42 babies. It's up there on, up there on the screen and it's in the stream title. So hopefully that helps. Introduce to. Does this actually get us a, a social one? I would like it if it did. Oh, what are you doing? Go to bed. Go to bed. You're sleeping in the wrong bed. Go to sleep. I'm begging you, everyone. Okay. Are you not gonna introduce the baby? You guys, I'm serious. This is starting to get to me. I, like, the kid can meet the next dad. Yeah, that's who this guy is. B is too far away. Okay, let me try something. Maybe I'll see if I can bring him into the room. I'm giving up. I'm actually giving up. Blow kisses and peekaboo didn't work. <laughs> I did all those things. It wasn't working. We've been doing them. It doesn't work. Maybe I just need to do it more, but I feel like I've done it multiple times. So annoying. We need to have one more social milestone and the baby is not getting it. I'll try and do it in the morning. I just, I'm gonna have two infants. Like the next baby's gonna be born and I won't have it yet. Normally, they get these like on their own <laughs> without extra effort from my part. <laughs> Normally, they just show up. <sighs> Come on. Come on. I'm not used to having to actually try though, because normally it just happens. So, this is very annoying to me. Two infants is very hard. It's, it's rough. It definitely is rough. 
All right, we'll speed through the night. We'll have a baby soon. Oh, I wanted to start planting the garden that we just built last time we played too. So maybe we can work on that today as well. In the morning, I'll try and talk to it more. I promise, I can be so brave. <laughs> I can be so brave. <sighs> I know that it comes from, like, talking to it. I'm just surprised that it's taking so long. Oh well. Oh well. Wake up now. 4 a.m. is reasonable. Okay. <laughs> Kayla, play Overcooked. We're gonna try and play Overcooked at some point soon-ish. There's a lot of games that I want to play not enough time, so... Oh my god! Oh, here we go. Okay. Have baby at the hospital. This is, we already uh, randomized, we already randomized a name for this baby because um, we thought the rat was dead and it wasn't. And the name that was randomized was Smelly. So this is my new son, Smelly. Um, and also I need to try for a baby with, with this guy. It's a good thing he's still here actually. At one point, you swear milestones were glitched. You traveled with an infant to a tiny house, did, tiny house, didn't own it, had a cover space set up in the yard and did some interactions and then got like five milestones at once. That's so weird. What the heck? Stand up. Okay. Can I try and woohoo with you? Come on. Come on, please. I'm begging you. Okay. Um, hopefully they'll go try for a baby and then we can move on. I can also add him to the spreadsheet while they are doing that. This will be baby number, oh, guess what guys, that's baby number 43 just born. I'll up the stream count. And this one will be baby number 44. Are they trying for a baby yet? I can't tell, I have it, I have it covered. All right, all right. So, I got the spreadsheet set up. Hello? No, you have to be fast. We have to try for a baby quickly. Okay, here we go. Okay, this is fine. Happy love day! <laughs> There's an item for sale, or a nickname for sale in Fall Guys called Sewer Squad. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, maybe I need to buy that. That- okay, I'm pregnant. That's good. Do you think it's twins? No, it's not. Okay, that's fine. Well, couple things that we need to do. Um, I need to- wait, this is- so this was 43. So this baby will be number 44. Um, we need to get his name spelled out, and then I need to kill him. Do I stream Fall Guys too? We play Fall Guys sometimes. Um, what are you using my bathroom for? Bold of you to assume you can go in there. Okay. Kill Sim. Death by being swarmed by flies. How about that? Why are you killing them? I just think it's kind of funny to have it in the basement. Oh no, he's dying. This is horrible. Oh, you'll be missed. Oh no. Okay, have fun at school today, kids. I'll see you later. You go to school too. Don't witness the death. Go to school. No, no, no. Go to school. Go to school, okay? Good job, kids. All right, as soon as that's, oh, that's taken care of, good. So I'll get this down here in the basement. <laughs> um, we need to add some more baby daddies into this club too. I'm open to, we've been trying to pick a lot of the, the default townies that are close to dying of old age. So like, you know, Katrina Caliente is kind of an option. Um, we've just been trying to go through with a lot of the elder default townies um, before we before we do this. Because they're, they're gonna die, so we wanna try before they die. Which makes sense, I feel. Um, okay, I need to come age this baby up. 
We ate them up from newborns instantly. Need more space in the basement? Yeah, we have to we have to upgrade it. You know what you should do, actually? Don't witness the death. Come here. Let's take care of the baby while it's still an infant first. Um, feed it as well. Do science babies count towards the total? No, so here's my thing about that, Tommy. I kind of feel like part of the challenge of the Not So Berry Challenge is having to deal with like the finding of a partner and then romancing them and then dealing with like waiting for the pregnancy. So I think that the science baby to an extent almost makes it a little bit easier um, because you can have the kid instantly without having to wait. Um, so I don't really, uh, did I say not so berry challenge? You know I meant hunter baby challenge. I don't even know what I said. Um, but I, I think that um, part of it is, it makes it better. Maybe they asked for not so berry. If they asked for not so berry, you can do whatever you want. In the 100 baby challenge, I, I would think that uh, science babies are kind of cheating. That's kind of my feelings on it though. Baby care, age up. Smelly! Good for you, kid. Put Smelly over here. Now it smiles. That's good. Oh my god, this one's miserable. Wait. What the heck? Did I just age it up twice by accident? How did that even happen? What? How? I clicked on the... I find that very confusing. Okay, I guess I'll go put it back down to an infant and cast. That's really weird. I don't under I don't understand. Okay, smelly. No, no, you had the wiggly trait before. Huh, we just don't have infants, I guess. <laughs> would have been fine if it would have stayed, but <laughs> Reyes, Allison, Amber, Maddie, Sky, thank you for the subs. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright, well, take two. We'll try this again. Back to an infant. Hopefully we can get the other one aged up also. That happens the other day, your, your toddlers aged into kids when they were- and then, like, they're supposed to be into teens? That's so weird! That they just aged up, like, double when they were so young? I wonder why that happened. I haven't had that glitch happen to me yet, but I guess I haven't been aging up too many kids recently. <laughs> okay, um, so you all imply that if I play peekaboo repeatedly, I'll get a peekaboo milestone? I don't know why I don't have the coup milestone yet, um, but we'll see. Are you aging up on your own? No, it's learning how to sit up. I'm not going on a date, you're dead. Oh, you're not even taken to your crib yet. Oh my god. This game is stressing me out. Now you're feeding it? Leave me alone! <sighs> Do you have to age down the mom or something? No, um, so the way the challenge works, when they're pregnant, they don't age. So she is still, to this day, she's still not become an adult. She's only a young adult, um, which is super cool. She's She stays a young adult for a long time because um, they don't age while they're pregnant. So she has two days left, but she's been at that many days left for ages. Oh, I usually cheat away their sadness about the, the dads dying too. Cause I feel like they don't even know, like she didn't care about him. She killed him. Oh, and I can change my stream title to say I have 43 babies as well. Yes. Okay. I have... We're probably gonna have not that many more kids in my household. I wanna try something. I don't usually like to do this, but... Because I, in my opinion, I think on ley line is kind of a a negative like having twins actually kind of negatively impacts you in this game but i almost kind of want to try to have twins no maybe i don't 
Oh, I don't know. Maybe I don't want to have twins. It's better to not have twins. It It's easier to not have twins. Maybe don't have twins. <sighs> Focus, Kayla. Sorry. I don't think we want that. Or do you think it's negative? Like, why does it impact you poorly? Well, so when they have twins, um, it's a lot harder to, like, do anything successfully when you've got two of them. Um, and so it, when you have just one baby at a time, you can also more easily stay pregnant permanently because you can keep having more and more and more and more new kids. Um, and then she doesn't age, so she lives longer because you're constantly pregnant. There's always space in the household for more kids. And you can usually get the kids aged up and out faster as well when there's just one of them. Oh my god! See, it got the thing on its own! I All that time, waiting for it. I guess it didn't have enough time on the thingy by itself. Because they usually get it when they like play it when they're playing to themselves. Oh my god. Okay, you look at your toys. Did we get any grades up? Grades are up! Okay. You're an A student. You're only a B student. Oh, I'm gonna have you the whole weekend. Okay. I can get this one aged up though. And you can also get aged up, because you finally have your second milestone. <sighs> right? I might try and go in a week or two once I get back from TwitchCon. I have too much going on right now to, to leave the house. <laughs> I'm very stressed out with everything going on. Um, and also- oh, Hello. Um, and also, uh, I'm a little bit anxious about going to see the movie opening weekend, because I think that, like, the crowds and the- things are gonna give me a lot of anxiety. I have all kinds of problems, so I don't know. I might wait till it's like been out a little bit longer. I do wanna see it so bad, obviously, but I might just space it out. Okay, congratulations on aging up. Your sibling was not so lucky, so I have to keep you longer. I'm gonna get rid of him. Oh, okay. Your matinee showing was very chill. No one stood up, which was preferred for you. Oh, that's good. Okay, that makes me feel better. That makes me feel a lot better. Um, yeah, I might go when I get back from TwitchCon, though. It's a busy time trying to get all of this pre-recording done. <laughs> really, Clary? Oh my goodness. That's wild. Um, okay. Let's move them out. I put them in Oasis Springs. You're a young adult now, so you can leave. And then we're back. <laughs> Simply Joy Faith Lily, thank you for the subs also. Um, was it Rose? That makes me feel better. I've been kind of waiting until I heard how people were uh, talking about it, so I would know, but. Um, Everyone has been like literally spamming asking me about this for like weeks. <laughs> every day, every five minutes, somebody's like, are you gonna see it? Why haven't you seen it? When are you gonna see it? I hate you! Oh my god, that's fine. We can make another cake. I'm open to making another cake. They're talking about the Taylor Swift concert film that just came out a couple days ago. Okay, get leftovers. You kiddo went to sleep. I guess you can sleep in there if you want for a little bit longer. And you can play with your toys. Does that say that you love to sleep? Snuggly sleeper. Oh, you only sleep when you're being held. Oh, that's really bad. That is, that is extremely inconvenient for me, actually. Yikes, okay. Wow. Well, that'll be interesting. Um, you could probably sleep a little bit longer and then we can start playing. We have the whole weekend now. Um, the whole weekend for us to start working on these. Oh my god, the kid is miserable. Okay. Um, should I feed the baby and then give it a nap? Baby care. How about you feed the baby and then, I don't know, talk to it for a second. We just got pregnant again, so she's only in her second, first trimester, second trimester in six hours. She's like freshly pregnant, so we have to wait a little bit longer. 
for her to give birth again. Hopefully we can have that baby too. I personally would like to have like three babies today. So the one we just had, this one, the next one, and then maybe one more after that. I think that would be good. All right, kid, what's wrong with you? Just sleepy? Okay, I will play a lullaby, maybe. Hopefully that helps him sleep. Can you kill the kids after you age them to young adult? Yikes. Um, I mean, I guess if technically, yeah, if you really wanted to. But I, I feel that you would, I don't know, there's no point. Or just triplets and get them all done at once. No, the triplets is worse. The triplets is worse. Having multiples is, is pretty rough. Um, it's a little bit easier when you have just the one at a time. And then plus she'll be able to get it done faster. It's it's always a problem when she gets like, when it takes too long to age the baby up and then we're cutting it too close to when the next one is born and stuff. Um, yeah, you just move them out once, um, you just move them out once they're young adults, so. They get an A in school, in high school, and then they just move out. The current dead dad, we just got, so, um, we're, oh, this one's name isn't Smelly, sorry, I copy-pasted. This one's not born yet. Um, we're currently having this baby. Smelly is one that was just born. I, I like, just copy-pasted this to make it bigger, but, um, we're pregnant with number 44 right now. Are we playing something else after this? No, no, I mean, just, just one thing per stream, usually. Okay, I guess I'll just triple speed all through the whole weekend. Yeah? Sounds good to me. Mental level nine. Are you seeing this? It's too easy. They better get an A in school tomorrow. Or Monday, we have to wait all the way until Monday. Get leftovers. Okay. Did I kill one of the kids for taking a piece of their birthday cake once? Oh, yikes. To be honest, I don't really remember that, but that does sound like something I would have done. So, that's interesting. Um, yeah. <laughs> They were an adult though, so it's fine. Like I aged them up first and then did it. But that, yeah, I don't know, yeah, sorry. That was the last day of my St. Jude fundraiser. Oh, yeah, that was a very chaotic day. So I, yeah, I get it. I know why I did that, I can see it. I stand by that and I do it again. All right, I think tomorrow I'll try and find a new baby daddy. I'd like to have Katrina Caliente be the next baby daddy, but we'll see what we can do tomorrow when I call her up. What if you just call Katrina up? The baby loves wake up time. Oh my God. It, it only sleeps when it's held and it loves wake up time. Oh yeah, I can show the family tree. People always ask for this. Um, it's not that interesting. It's just a, Long, long, long list of many, 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 many children. <laughs> Lovely, isn't it? Okay. Okay, what are you doing? Don't sleep in there, sleep in the bed. Sleep in the bed. <sighs> Neighborhood Stories is on. Actually, I might need to turn it on for the, because they're marked as played households. So maybe I should go mess with neighborhood stories quickly. The two dead ones. Oh, there's actually three dead ones, I think. <laughs> nothing to see here, nothing to see here. <sighs> okay, we don't have any grandkids either. I don't know if they will have grandkids. Um, oh yeah, I don't have neighborhood stories enabled for the Household, oops. Oh God, I didn't mean to do that. I don't have neighborhood stories enabled. I mean, if you guys wanna rescue horses, you can do that. Maybe, maybe just don't move though. That's kind of the main thing for me. Like you can have a horse, but probably don't move. 
Oh, why did I think I had neighborhood stories enabled and I didn't? Um, is that all of them? No, this one too. Yeah, look how many like households of kids we have. Why no move? Because I get confused when they move. Um, it kind of throws me off when they move around because it makes it so I don't remember where they are. It's easier for me if they stay in the same place so I can find them. Like if I go looking for their graves and stuff, it's just easier for me if I like, I'll know like, oh, I put that one in Oasis Springs. I'm not tracking them that closely, but I'll want their graves if they die. So I prefer if they stayed in the same spot. Yeah, the moving, I don't want anyone to move usually in The Sims. Like, I don't want the goth family to move. Like, all that stuff, it totally throws off the game for me. So I, I pretty much always turn moving off um, when I play The Sims 4. Go night-night. Okay, little one? Try and sleep. You can do it. <sighs> the infant carrier works for infants with that quirk. Oh, I never use the carrier. I probably should, huh? I mean, maybe I'll come bathe this baby and we'll, then we can like carry it around. Oh no! <laughs> Problem just died! <laughs> oh well, their neighborhood stories works fast. <laughs> That's no good. Should I go get it? Well, hold on. You know what we can do, actually? Oh no, that's two in a row that died. How- should we have like a- another emoji for like clarifying that they died from neighborhood stories? Hmm. Let's make a, a little guide here for the various emojis. Dead. Deleted. Um, maybe, is there like a grave emoji? Okay, headstone emoji I can't see on my PC. How about ghost? A ghost emoji. Oops. Um, neighborhood stories dead. I don't really know. I feel like the, I want it to be something that makes it obvious that they got got by something different, you know? Oops. Oh my god. A neighborhood story- I feel like putting like a, um, putting like a house is too- why are you so small? A house is too- it's not good enough that they're- it doesn't show they're dead enough, you know? And the book, I prefer, I prefer something that makes it seem more dead. Like, I think a ghost is better. Do you guys really think a book is better? The house is, like, not violent enough. I think I like the ghost. Okay, hold on. Um, neighborhood stories. Oops, this is all messed up. Hold on. Um, let's make a little key. <laughs> this is so silly. So, so, so silly. Um, hold on. A knife? Oh, a knife is really violent, isn't it? I guess we could... We could do that. You think? If you double click the size, it makes the right size. Yeah, but I wanted to make it my own size. You guys are being, why are you backseat spreadsheeting me? That's why we don't do these things on stream. You know when you like know a hotkey and you just don't use it for a second and then all of a sudden the chat's like, why didn't you press B to get the wall tool? <laughs> Whoa. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, um, maybe I'll use a knife emoji. Oh, that's better. Yeah, 
That I like that better. Shella is making you one, Simsy. A knife emoji? Is it not good enough? The other kids died because when they aged up, they, um... When the other kids aged up, they were going through mood swings. So... IDK, what emoji? But she says she's making you one? Oh. I think I... You don't have to. I'm good with the knife. But, yeah, two of them died from, um like, aging up with mood swings, and then the other one died from a lightning strike. Oh, it looks like they're- oh, I have four dead kids. Okay, three of them died from aging up, and one of them died from a lightning strike, and then this one obviously died from neighborhood stories. Okay. Okay. Oh, my game was unpaused. Oops. I want to go find the grave. So it's four total that are dead. Three from me, one from Neighborhood Stories. Even though one of them wasn't my fault. Um, yeah, Bayern is not- it's, so, so all the names- um, You guys, I didn't name a single one of those babies. <laughs> These babies are all named off of the suggestions that people had made um, here. Um, so uh, these were all people that donated to our fundraiser. Um, they have suggested names and we have been randomizing them off of here. Okay, I need to figure out where um, the dead Sim lived. Oh my god, they already got a horse too? You got a horse also? Um, you know, that, you work fast. I'm really impressed. <laughs> you get a horse, you get a horse. This is so organized. It's not that organized, it's not even that good of a spreadsheet. It just helps with people to ask questions. Um, because this way it makes it very obvious what's going on. Um, so. <laughs> okay, is this where they lived? Oh, it is, okay, good. This is the one that just got got by Neighborhood Stories. I will bring it home with me. I don't know if I'm gonna go and get every single one of their graves, but that was the first Neighborhood Stories grave, so. I would like to do that. Also, hi, Miv. <laughs> and Welsh and Bonnie and Ken, thank you for the subs. Do we check how they died? No, I haven't looked yet, but I will check. I will check. You make spreadsheets for your game that no one is watching for when you have questions? That's so funny. Um, yeah, when you've got this many sims, it's helpful, isn't it? Okay. Um, let's check neighborhood stories quickly. See what we got. I'll play a bunch of this. Mm, Jay Huntington has died! Oh, well, we can't have kids with him. That's a shame. We've got people adopting horses. None of my- none of these are my children. Oh my god, this is gonna take forever. Might as well let the game run. Honestly, what- what's the kid doing? It's just on the floor? Oh my god. Breastfeed. Okay. Baby, baby, dog. Problem was milking it and got too close to a cow plant. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh, neighborhood stories. Cow plant. I don't know if I put anything for these people. Oh, it looks like I didn't. So I don't know how the other kids died. You finished the emote a masterpiece. Oh, God. <laughs> Shella just made this. That's really something special, to be honest. It's an evil house. Wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. That is really, really quite something. <laughs> I guess, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if I... 
Maybe I'll mess with the spreadsheet a little bit later and we'll see what we can do. I don't know if I if I want to mess with it too much more right now. But it's there if I want it. Yeah, adjusting the spreadsheet on stream gives me anxiety now. <laughs> the people act like I'm too slow. <laughs> it makes me feel self-conscious. <laughs> So maybe I've changed my mind and I don't feel comfortable. It's like when I don't want to- I don't want to make CC on stream anymore either because I've- people make me feel nervous and embarrassed. What? Have you not fed the baby yet? Adopt is care dependent. You can feed the baby. How about that? Okay. No, you'll take care of it. Come on. You can do it, kid. You can do it. You can do it. Feed the baby. Feed the baby. Feed the baby. I don't even think I'm bad at Google Sheets. I'm just distracted and streaming and I got my game running still and I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not thinking straight. I'm playing the 100 baby challenge. <laughs> you make CC? Where do we find it? Oh, you don't. It's like a Lil Simsy made herself a recolor and then realized she'll never, ever, ever do that on stream again because. <sighs> It's really scary. You don't understand. Everyone makes me feel dumb. <laughs> okay. Come on, please bathe the kid. Oh my god, why are you doing this? I'll admit I'm not that good at CC making though. That part I, I can be honest about. Get a bubble bath from your mom. Come on. Oh, now you've fallen asleep. Okay, we won't get a bath yet then. Start working carefully. Um, have I tried the new vegan cheese sauce at Taco Bell? I have not been to Taco Bell in a long time, so no. Are you the one who keeps spamming about that? That my mods timed out? Um, friend, oh my god, it's the third time. <laughs> Friend, just so you know, uh, if you if you copy and paste the same thing over and over again, the mods don't like it. Um, so, uh, wow. <laughs> Do you know that if you write something in Docs of Google or the other ones, Google can use whatever you write to feed AI? Oh no, Google's gonna use my baby list to feed AI? <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Don't really care about that, friend. Um, <laughs> good to keep in mind, I guess. I, to be honest with you guys, I am so sick and tired of hearing about AI. I don't want to. I don't want anyone to ever say the word AI to me again. I'm so over it. I'm so over it. I'm sick of it. <laughs> I am sick of it. <sighs> Okay, kid, you need a bath too. Maybe maybe your mother will actually bathe you. What will they do with names like Smelly and Cheese Ball? <laughs> no, anyways, people don't bring up AI that often in my chat. It's more just like in general. I'm sick of it being such a... I just don't want to hear about it anymore. Um, anytime, it's like... You know how, um, arguably AI is a bigger deal than this, but you know how a couple years ago the big buzzword was NFT? And everybody was talking about how NFTs are the future, blah, 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 blah. AI is definitely a bigger deal than NFTs, okay? But like, that's sort of the energy that it has for me, and I'm sick of hearing about it. I just don't want to talk about it. Like, I'm done. <laughs> But the whole NFT thing and now this, it's like, they have the same vibes. But, yeah. Okay. No one wants to bathe my children, is what I'm noticing. Just for NFTs to burn out in less than a year. Yeah, seriously. It's very funny how that happened, to be honest. Oh, the kid is miserable. Maybe I can bathe you now, because it's actually crying. Give a bubble bath to Smelly. Come on. Come on. Oh, here we go. I'm actually going to do it. Oh, good. Oh, good. Prom. Oh, I forgot about that. 
Oops. But Smelly wants to be smelly. Poor Smelly was destined to be smelly. Um, I feel stupid for asking what's NFT. Oh my god. It's You're not stupid for asking, don't worry. It's a non-existent thing, um, so don't feel bad. But basically, um, they were this big deal a couple years ago where you could buy, like, think like an, an original art piece, like the Mona Lisa, okay? But it's a digital piece of art. So you have digital original Mona Lisa, okay? And you've paid a lot of money for it, and you have the original. And sure, anyone can make a copy. I can copy paste, I can save the photo, anyone can have a copy co copy of it, but you own the original. It's yours, you own the original of this, of this item. But it's digital. And you own it, but it's digital and anyone can copy and still use it just like any other picture on the internet. But you own it. <laughs> and that's an NFT. And they, some of them were selling for like a significant amounts of money and now they're all worthless. No, no, don't think about, the Mona Lisa was an example just of a piece of art, but it's, it's like if I made a piece of art, I could sell it as an NFT. It's not like, there's not, it's don't think of the Mona Lisa like that. It makes no sense, exactly. And it kind of feels like a scam a little bit, yeah. Um, and you don't even really own it. It's more like you own a receipt for the art because you can't have it. It's like how if you bought the Mona Lisa, they'd be like, but we're keeping it in the museum. So how, to, to what degree can you own a pixel? Not really, you know? Um, so it, it was like stupid. And that was why it was so dumb when everybody was like, NFTs are the future, NFTs are the future. And we were all like, yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> Whatever you say. Um, and then we can put Smelly in the back carrier. How about that? Um, anyway, different than commissions though. Yeah, let's be clear about that. It's different than like hiring an artist to to like make you art. That's totally different. Um, but the, the existence of NFTs was like crypto territory and it was stupid, basically. Um, the future of what? Yeah. But you know the kind of person that would be saying this sort of thing, right? So. Um, but, well, yeah, Jackie, that's what I mean. The, the AI situation is a totally different ball game because it, where people are talking about trying to like replace workers with AI and that's a totally different situation. Um, but the amount of people like everyday person not talking about like the strikes and about people that are like fighting to not have AI replace their work that I'm annoyed with like, like the, the tech bros talking about AI. <laughs> The tech bro AI is what bothers me. <laughs> We're not talking about like like writers saying, please don't use AI to replace writers, you know? <laughs> That's a different thing. Totally different thing. Um, and at its core, I'm annoyed at the companies being like, AI is the future. Like, that's the problem. We're not mad at the people that are saying, stop doing this. We're mad at the people who are, who are the tech bros that are trying to be like, AI is the future. That's what annoys me. Does that make sense? <laughs> Or like people like trying to make AI art, which is basically stealing art from people, that sort of thing. That's, that's, I'm sick of hearing about that. I'm sick about people trying to push it, you know? Um, anyway, I think, I, I assume you all knew what I meant. I'm sorry if I didn't clarify that sooner because I knew what I meant, but I didn't want you guys to think that you, I'm like mad about the writers saying, talking about AI. Like, I'm not, that's not what I meant at all. <laughs> that is not what I meant at all. Um, okay. You can come get some food after this. How about that? Um, I hate this baby so much. Um, yeah, we're not we're not mad about the creatives that are talking about this. It's the tech bros. <laughs> Everything comes back down to the tech bros. Okay, so from there, this child is gonna need a bath too. Do you want to use your diaper and then I can try and get your brother to give you a bath? I don't know. Is this still Rosa? How old is she now? She's only a young adult. They don't age when they're pregnant, cowardly. So we're trying to keep her a young adult as long as possible. <laughs> um, okay, give a bubble bath to B. Um, okay, come on. Why, oh my God, I hate this game so much. The way it's so glitchy trying to give these sims baths, I don't understand. 
I was trying to hold you so you would sleep. It doesn't sleep on its own. I hate this baby. I hate it. I hate this game. I want to cry. Ugh. Yeah, I've been playing her for a long time because uh, on normal lifespan, it's it's fine. It's just they don't age when they're pregnant. So she's had like a couple days left before she ages up for a long time because they don't age while pregnant. So if I just keep her constantly pregnant, she never ages. The baby was just in the carrier. She put the baby down. She took it out of the carrier and put it down. I had it in the carrier. It's going poorly. Everything's bad. Oh my goodness. This game's gonna make me wanna cry. No, we don't necessarily wanna have twins um, with the fertility treatment and stuff like that. I know that might sound like doesn't make any sense, but um, we find that this challenge is a lot easier to progress in when you have one baby at a time, because like I was saying, you can stay permanently pregnant um, and sort of space out everything a little bit better. So it works a little bit easier. Um, okay. What are you sad about? Oh, your sibling. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, that's a, that's a great point. And cause I saw some people are still talking about the AI thing. Um, and it says the reason that automation is a problem for workers is because the capitalists use it to stop paying people. Um, and so like what, what we want to do with automation and with tech is to have it make life easier for people. We don't want it to replace people, especially not creatives in this current climate, right? Um, and we don't want like the big execs at the movie studios to, to be able to replace real life human writers and stop paying real life human writers because, oh, we could just use AI. That's when it's a problem. Um, it's, it's sort of complicated talking about like these things like replacing jobs and stuff, but um, like a, a computer is never gonna be able to achieve what a human can do in terms of like writing a script or making a painting or something. Um, and so it's a big problem that they're trying to replace that because it's just not, anyway. We don't need to talk about this too much. Um, but let, just again, so we're clear, I'm not like anti people being opposed to AI because of that. I don't think they're annoying for talking about it. I just, I'm sick of hearing like the, the big execs trying to talk about pushing AI forward. That's what bothers me. Um, okay. Um, okay. Okay, you wanna get some food? Another kid did die, but not one that we care about, Kay. Like, not one of the ones that's here. We had a neighborhood stories casualty. Um, so don't worry, it's not one of these sims or anything. <laughs> um, yeah, and they're talking about, that's one of the other big uh, discussions also with, with like, um, the movie industry is, like, people talking about trying to, like, make AI of extras and, like, take their likeness to be able to use them, like, forever. Um, like as AI generated versions of themselves, which is in my opinion, absolutely horrifying and unbelievable because they wouldn't pay them for that appropriately, right? Like they wouldn't pay them for that perpetual use of their likeness. Um, and that's where we were walking a lot of like dangerous, scary lines with AI. Um, Yeah, Hope can't get their management to agree that AI can't replace content creation jobs. All these companies are like being unbelievable with this stuff because they, they're trying to cut corners and cut, cut costs and they like are so pro the future of AI. They don't understand that you can't like, this will never success, like the, the computer will never successfully do what a person can do in this way. Um, and it's just scary. The whole thing is just scary, so. Why are we still talking about this? <laughs> this is just scary. Capitalism really is a hellscape, huh? Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. You can go to sleep too. Then we can sleep through the night in peace and it can be quiet and safe. Um, what's your favorite fruit? Oh, that's an interesting subject, Jay. <laughs> you know, I'm a big fan of peaches right now. I'm a big fan of peaches. Um, oh my god, they never sleep! Go back to bed! I hate this baby. Did you hope? That's fun. 
That is very, very fun. What's my favorite scary movie? Oh, I can't watch those. I've never seen a single scary movie. I'm not kidding, I've never seen a single scary film. <laughs> Can't do it. My favorite scary film is Pirates of the Caribbean, yeah. That's a horror movie. No, I'm joking, I actually hate that movie. I find it like genuinely scary, so I don't watch that. Um, clean out spoiled food. And maybe you can get some food too. I haven't been able to take care of any of this baby's milestones because I have to have it constantly sleeping. I don't know what to do with you. Can I just... You know what? I deserve better than this. Oh, now I fell asleep. Okay. Well, I was gonna try and I just cheat at it, but... I have a core memory of going to Best Buy with your parents when you were younger and seeing the Kraken scene on their TVs and it gave you nightmares! Thank you! Why does no one understand this? There's so many scary things in Pirates of the Caribbean. In the beginning, with like, I don't even want to talk about it. There's like dead bodies, and then there's the creepy Kraken thing. There's so many scary parts of Pirates of the Caribbean that were traumatic for me as a child. And everybody acts like I'm the problem. Oh, what's wrong with you, Kayla? Why are you so scared of that? Hello? Terrifying! It's terrifying. So anyway, yes, I'm still scared of it as an adult. What about it? I'm scared of everything. <laughs> I stand by that. <laughs> Baby care, feed, breastfeed. Okay, there we go. You're scared of everything? Noted for next week. Is that a threat, Tony? Guys, I'm supposed to see Tony at TwitchCon next week. Should I avoid him? I think he just threatened me. <laughs> I'm kind of scared right now. <laughs> on one of the nights at TwitchCon, um, on one of the nights at TwitchCon, me and Shella have like a, a women's dinner, like a Twitch women's dinner that we got invited to. Um, and so we have to have, uh, we've scheduled a play date for Dan and Tony because they have to do something together, um, because they're going to be alone. They're not invited. Um, so we had to schedule a play date for the men so that they can, um, keep each other company while we're gone. <laughs> Wait, we have a play date? Oh, did you not know about this part? Okay, well, Dan knew and he was excited. I'm sorry to, to assume that you wanted to come to the play date, Tony, but if you don't want to come, then that's fine. You don't have to. This is awkward. Um, but, yikes. <laughs> they will babysit each other. <laughs> I didn't say I didn't want to go. I just didn't know. <laughs> oh, well, now you know. Sorry. You don't have to go. If you don't want to go, you don't have to go. Okay, let's put the kid down. Put Smelly down over here, please. All right. And now we have to do a large amount of tummy time so I can get this baby aged up. Oh my God, stop. Tummy time. Tummy time. Imagine being Tony and not being invited to the Dan and Tony play date. <laughs> oh no. You're invited now. You know about it now. It'll be good. Are you so excited? Okay. My bad. Yeah, good going, Shella. <laughs> I was fully, I was talking to Dan. I was like, oh, it'll be great. They can like leave their bags in our hotel room and like we'll meet up with them after our dinner so that you're ready. <laughs> we can meet up and, and then we'll go together and leave them. Like I had this whole plan and I guess we just never talked about it. <laughs> Sammy, it's, we have 43 babies. It's on the screen in the top left corner, and it's also on the stream title. Well, Simsy, you didn't tell me. Okay, well, I had a plan, and I talked about it with Dan, too. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I guess I just failed to- I, um, I was not- I was- I didn't communicate the plan, it seems. Um, and that's my bad. 
But I had one. I sure did have one. <laughs> oh my god. We're doing more tummy time still? Hmm. Well, I'm getting kind of nervous about TwitchCon. Anybody else? Me too. Me too. What's a friend if they can't read your mind? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Okay, I think I'm ready to age you up now, child. Yes, we have the milestone categories. Okay. Easy, easy, easy. Do I just make another cake? I am, like, what do I do? I've never been. Okay, so TwitchCon, um, there, you, you, with, I think, like, with any TwitchCon, you get out of it what you want. So, you know, there's gonna be a lot of stuff going on at the con, um, and you'll be able to, like, make sure you're looking at the app at, like, what, what meetups are going on, and what panels are going on, and what shows are going on. There's oftentimes some pretty cool, like, shows on, like, the bigger stage, um, like, Sometimes they'll have like uh, like gaming tournaments and stuff going on, um, and and hopefully um, if you're looking to meet people, um, hopefully you might be able to meet some folks that are like there and interested in similar things as you. Um, to be completely and perfectly honest with you guys, um, I saw I'll, I'm even I'm open I'll totally share it with you also. Um, let me see if I can find it. There I just saw a tweet uh, yesterday. This person was talking about trying to do. Um, like a simmers meetup at TwitchCon um, and get a photo of a hundred simmers all in the same uh, all in the same picture. Uh, it's gonna be on Saturday afternoon at TwitchCon it looks like. I can link this tweet for you. Um, but that might be an interesting thing um, if you wanted to go try and meet some other simmers. To be brutally honest with you, I don't know if I should go to that. I, I don't, I'm gonna sound like such a brat when I say this, but I, I fear causing a scene. Um, so I don't know if that's a good idea, if that's safe for me, because <laughs> I fear causing a scene um, in a place where there's a lot of like people who maybe watch my channel. Um, not to make wild assumptions, I just feel like you know it's reasonable, but I do have a meet and greet that same day, just a couple hours later. So um, that's a, a thing to keep in mind. But anyway, I, I worry about like, um, like crowd stuff, crowd control. Um, Anyway, we'll see. We'll play by ear and see how it goes. But I do have a meet and greet that day, so I will be there um, at my my own meet and greet that day, um, just a couple hours later. So, um, how much is the meet and greet? Oh, it doesn't cost extra money, but you have to have a TwitchCon <laughs> ticket, Layla. Um, you have to have a TwitchCon ticket to go, but it won't it won't cost you extra money outside of the TwitchCon <laughs> ticket. Um, and TwitchCon's in Vegas this year, so <laughs> also like buying a hotel and flight to Vegas maybe sometimes, um, <laughs> depending on where you live. Um, so it's kind of an ordeal to get out there and it's already next weekend, but um, anyway, that's what I'll be doing at TwitchCon. I have a panel too, so I'll be there as well. Oh my god, I didn't meet the next person that I wanted to have a baby with! Oh no, I'm not ready. Oh no, I kind of fumbled the bag a little bit here. Okay, um, yeah, uh, okay, um, Oh, I was gonna have a kid with- oh, she's dead. Okay, Katrina's dead. I'll try Zoe next. Um, oh no. No, don't look at the bright side. Go have the baby at the hospital. Send alone. Oh, I knew I was forgetting something. Okay. All right, next baby. Let's randomize a name. So, as we know, uh, we've been randomizing names off of this spreadsheet. Um, that's how we've been picking what we will name all the children. These are all names that were suggested by people who donated to our charity fundraiser back in May. Every single name costs $25, by the way. <laughs> so we raised a lot of money doing this, um, which is kind of cool. And the baby name that we are using is number 1,316. And number 1,316 is Huck. Aww. I like him in Animal Crossing. Okay, Huck. Cute. Welcome, my friend. Okay, I need to now get pregnant with the next baby. Would you like to age up? Don't grab a serving. Don't grab a serving. Don't grab a serving. Reset. Okay, sorry. I need you to help blow out candles for this baby. Candles help turnips. Okay. 
Um, I don't see my potential baby. Oh, here she is. Okay, I'm gonna try and have a kid with Zoe Patel. We'll see if we can get it to work. Yeah, the maid does put the food in the fridge. It's kind of annoying, but I just put it back out, so it could be worse, I guess. Alright, we aged up. No more infant, but the next one's already been born, so... Okay, romance, physical in intimacy, embrace... I don't know if it's gonna- I shouldn't have declared love publicly, that's gonna go bad, she's not gonna like that. No, she doesn't like it. She doesn't like it! Stop! I don't know why I clicked that! I know better than that! Oh my god. Can you apologize? Sign my autograph, I forgot she was a celebrity. Um, start a rumor maybe? Just quickly? Oh my god, don't make this harder than it has to be. I'm serious. Embrace. Come on. The longer we take, the more we start to age. So this is serious. Both hands. Come on. Always make your babies independent so they use the potty. Yeah, I, I used to do that in my, um, in this challenge when I played it the first time. But this time around, I've been randomizing their traits, so it makes it a little bit harder. Yeah, you know what, Plant Sugar? I was literally just thinking that same thing. I, I think that oftentimes, um, with the new social menu, genuinely, and I hate to say it, it makes it harder for me to find stuff sometimes. Because I'm- I know that it's good, I guess, that we have some more categories, and I guess on occasion it might make it easier. Especially for, like, a new player. Um, but I, uh... I forgot that Zoe can't get me pregnant. Um, but I, I actually find it harder to find stuff. I, like, I really can't find a lot of the interactions that I'm looking for at times. Um, I never know how to find things. I get lost in the categories, and sometimes it's not classed how I think it's going to be and stuff like that. Um, I'm not in cast.full edit mode, am I? No, I am. Okay. Try this again. You hate that talk about anger is in stories. Oh, I forgot that. See, there's so many weird things. There is a mod that um, you can like search interactions, which helps a little bit. But I, it used to be easier back in the day when you were looking for like a specific interaction because it was all alphabetical order. So at least if like you had a, it was telling you like, oh, do this with a coworker for like your job. It was easier to find because you had an alphabetical order. But now I struggle with it a lot. Oops, that's not a, I was trying to put the number up. We've got 44 kids now. 44 was just born. Now I'm gonna try for a baby with Zoe. Come on. Come on. Yeah, it was alphabetized back then. At least it used to be. Don't take care of your baby. Try for a baby. And then maybe you could take care of this baby. Um, bottle feed it. And then age up? I don't know. Yeah, I feel like everything's in the small talk category. I totally agree. And even though it doesn't really make that much sense, it's all in the small talk category. I don't know. It's really weird. I don't really agree. Oh god. The infant is intense. That's no good. The amount of categories overwhelms you. Yeah, I get that. Hopefully we actually got pregnant from this. And if not, I'm just gonna start it. I've decided. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. I don't even know. Cause I, oh, I think if I delete MC Command Center, I think it has to do with an MC Command Center glitch with some of the same sex pregnancies. I think if I disable MC Command Center, it will, um, the pregnancy will work when I try for a baby with Zoe. But, I don't understand why that is happening. I, um, let me see. Let me look at the settings really quickly. Can't you have a science baby? Yeah, but isn't it cheating to do that? 
Because we don't, we won't be pregnant. I don't really want to do that either because we won't be pregnant. Just risky woohoo 100%. Oh, does that work? Does the risky woohoo 100% work as an alternative? You're going to have to remind me to put this back. Because. <laughs> um, Work for me before? Okay, good. Woohoo with Zoe. Come on, do it again. Do it again. I'm going to forget I have it up so high and then we're going to have a baby by accident. <laughs> Dan just sent me a picture of Shrimp with his mouse toy upstairs. Shrimp carried the mouse toy all the way upstairs. He, the toy was, it was downstairs and it's upstairs now. He brought it upstairs. <laughs> Besties. I think I need to close the game and get rid of the mod and then do it again. Or I could pick someone else. Can you see? Yeah, I mean, it's not that good of a picture. Because it's like, you can see all of Dan's, um, lights. He has, like, a bunch of fancy lights pointing at his background, but... That's Shrimp's toy. That's Shrimp. He brought it upstairs. Impressive. If, in Zoe's cast... Can I just check something? I already said it so that she can get me pregnant. If I change her to be an MCC, you have to set who gets with child, the initiator, the target, I think. Yeah, but I changed it. The problem is I made it so that she can get others pregnant. So I don't understand why that's not working. The, but this has been happening for ages, specifically with, like, same-sex pregnancies between two women. But I think maybe it's, like, because of an MC Command Center setting that I have that I don't realize or something. No, it's not because she's an elder. Um, anyone can get anyone pregnant at any adult age, including elders. You just can't become pregnant as an elder. Um, so... Or see that any mods? Yeah, that's what it is an MC command center problem. I don't know if it's a setting that I've got wrong or if it's um. But usually, I I pretty you guys know this. I pretty much only play with lesbians in my Sims households, and I always have to like delete MC command center to make it work because of this. Um. Okay, MC command center. Is it in the settings or in the pregnancy? Do you know where? what setting it's under, other pregnancy. Pre pregnant sim selection? No. It's in the woohoo module. Oh, I'm see woohoo. Woohoo pregnancy, same sex pregnancy sim. Opposite sex pregnancy sim. But that's the, this is what I don't understand. So I need to have the initiator. I don't get it. Why, but when I had both like, where is she? Zoe. I did that already, Rose. In cast, I made it so that she can get me pregnant. That's why I don't understand what's happening. Because I made it- do I have to close the game for this setting to work? Because I- I like- in cast, Zoe's already set to get me pregnant. That's what I did. I always- like- Oh my goodness, you guys. This is cursed. Anyway, I've always had this problem with it. Yeah, the cast settings work perfectly fine. It's the mod that's messing with it. So I might just disable the mod for a second so we can try for a baby. Because I could just, I could also just take the mod out of my game for a second and then try for a baby. Because that's what I usually do. 
when it's not working. I can't, I still can't figure out how, like, what about my MC command center that's, is breaking it. But, um, anyway, when you don't have MC command center, it works just fine. So when I, now I took the mod out, it'll work just fine. Is that going to delete people in houses over eight sims? Um, yes, but I don't have any houses over eight sims in this save that I care about, so. Doesn't matter to me. Doesn't matter to me. Yeah, so maybe it's, I feel like all of us have the same problem with MC Command Center, where it's like overriding the cast settings, but it doesn't happen in male same-sex pregnancies. It only happens when I have two women, where it gets messed up. The former kid households where they adopted pets. I think that they they only did it in the households that didn't already, they had like a sim died, then they got a horse. So I think they still only had eight total, Christine. So we should be fine. Um. But it's, it's, it might be a setting that I have changed and I just can't figure out what's happening. Cause it, it's like some setting somewhere and MC Command Center is like overriding it. But I don't know. I don't like, the mod's not like doing it on purpose. They, they A might not know and B it might be like user error. It might be my fault and I just can't figure it out. But if you're having the same problem then I don't know. Um, this has been happening for, like, literal years to me, though, so. Um, I don't know. It's possible to override MC Command Center. Well, no, because the MC Command Oh, baby made a noise. The MC Command Center is what, um, is overriding the game settings. Let's try this again. This will work this time. Come on. Oh, you mean like reset all the changes in MC Command Center? I don't know. I, I don't know if that would make a difference because if it's happening to you all too, then that means that like it may, might not be a setting that I changed. Um, okay. Oh, I was gonna try and use MC Command Center to check if she was pregnant just then. <laughs> Do I have to wait the whole pregnancy or is it fine as long as she's pregnant for me to put the mod back in? I am pregnant. Let's go find out. We shall see. Sorry for making you all uh, experience this with me. All this just because I want to have a baby with Zoe Patel of all people. Zoe Patel. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm putting it back. What's up with MC Command Center? Well, basically, Jack, um, there's some setting somewhere in MC Command Center that's like overriding things. So I can't have a same sex pregnancy between two women, even when I have like it set properly in cast where like one can get the other pregnant. It like doesn't work. Um, but anyway, it's very easy without a mod to do this. My Somehow the mod is like overriding a setting and making it not work properly. You can do it so easily just with the regular game, but the mod is making it not work. <sighs> okay, well, we'll try again. MCCS settings you can change for it to work. Yeah, everyone keeps saying that to me, but no one's telling me which one it is. <laughs> Under Woohoo Actions, there is the same gender try for baby setting where the default is disabled. Maybe you need to make it sure it's enabled. It's weird though, because it lets me try for a baby still. I don't understand. I don't know. Should work as long as only initiator is clicked, really? Okay, well, we'll see. I guess with the next pregnancy, we'll try it again. We haven't tried it with only initiator clicked. So we'll try that with the next pregnancy maybe and see if that works better. Cause this, I mean, fixing this is honestly, it's urgent cause this has been happening to me for so long. Um, and that would be helpful, <laughs> so. Yeah, I've always had this problem with it too, Hope. Like literally, like ever since I've been using MC Command Center, I had the same problem, so. Um, I don't know, we'll see if we can get it figured out. 
Someone just said, oh, your game loads so fast, and then look what happened, it stopped. <laughs> Goose Kingdom is hope, yeah, Goose Kingdom is hope. Okay, let's see if the pregnancy stayed. Yeah. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Um, MC Command Center, MC Pregnancy. No, you said it was MC Woohoo. So what I changed just then was to make Initiator be the one who gets pregnant in a same-sex pregnancy, yes. Um, oh my god, you know what else I need to do? Risky woohoo percent, put it back down. <laughs> Yikes. Um, what was the other thing that person said? Let me scroll back up. They said, under woohoo actions, same, same-sex try for baby, Enabled. That one requires a game restart to take effect. The other one didn't say that. Huh. I don't know if that's gonna make a difference though, because isn't that what you've tried, Hope, and it didn't work? Oh well, at least she's pregnant now. <laughs> At least she's pregnant now. Do you want to go into a random save and just try that really quick? Just to see. MC pregnancy, then partner sim selection too. Oh, really? Okay. You're very invested in this? Okay, well, we'll try and fix it then. More stalling of the baby challenge. I have to close the game and restart it. Maybe I'll make like two couples in cast real quick and then we'll have one um, where we'll set one to get the other pregnant like in cast and the other one we won't and we'll see what works. Yeah. Not stalling, this is important research, exactly. <laughs> anyway, just to be clear, it's not the game's fault. It's There's like a weird mod override that's happening that's making the game not work how it's supposed to. It's very easy to have same-sex pregnancy in-game. Very easy. Um, without mods. But one of the mods that we have is messing with it, so. Mrs. Tomatoes Real Name is Christine. Goose Kingdom is Hope. Confusing. <laughs> Confusing and not immediately clear. <laughs> but... Okay, uh, I'll just load into one of my build saves. Um... Uh-oh. Go here. And uh, it is Donya in chat named Donya. Yeah. Might not have seen that one coming. <laughs> you never would have seen that coming. Tilly525, you'll never guess. Tilly. Yeah. Who would have thought? Uh, ignore how many Stanleys I have, okay? Can you see real names or you do, do I know them? Oh, I know their names because they're friends of mine and me. Huh, so I just on. know their names. Okay, um, you, my friend, are going to be married to this person. Your name is Jocelyn. And your name is Jada. And the two of you are, are married and in love. Um... And you have mischief aspirations. Okay, and I'll set you, maybe you can get others pregnant. So we'll try it that way with one set of Sims. And then I'll make another couple, right? And then I'll have these two, we won't do any special settings and we'll see if MC Command Center works without them. My last name is Duckworth. Come here. Wait, you're married to Cheyenne. Okay. Good. Got it. Let's go try it. My legal name is in fact not Gummy Bear. No way. <laughs> you know people in real life with the last name Duckworth, really? I like the name Duckworth, that's kind of good. Okay, we're doing a little experiment here, chat. Um, 
with we're trying to see if we can fix the MC command center settings. Okay, let's try for a baby and see if we get pregnant first try. Come on. We'll see. Oh, whoa, one of you shouldn't be in here. <laughs> this is the one with green hair. Leave. Leave. Oh my god. You're embarrassed? Don't be. We're experimenting. Try for baby. Come on. Oh my god. Oh, the door is open. I forgot they don't have a stupid door in this house. Why? <sighs> okay, get out. Get out. Go here. You two. Try for baby. Thank you to the Sims for that. All right, hopefully it works. If it works, then all of a sudden life's gonna be perfectly fine and good. Okay. I don't remember, um... Oh, stop. Can you, which one can take a pregnancy test? This one? Take a pregnancy test. But this is the problem. I don't know if, if they're not pregnant because it just didn't work that time, or if they're not pregnant because it never works. Because this is what happens. It lets you try for a baby and then they just never actually get pregnant with the mod. These two don't have the cast settings. This is just with the mod setting. I'll try it three times and see what happens. Oh! Oh! <laughs> yes! Okay, okay, so for that, it's fixed. Um, for that, what I did, I had to check a couple settings in MC Command Center. Okay, so what we had to do, MC Woohoo, okay, Woohoo Pregnancy, you need to, in the same sex pregnancy sim, pick either initiator or target. I had both picked before, that was wrong. Just pick one. And that's gonna make the sim who you say to try for the baby, it will be who gets pregnant. And then press woohoo actions, same sex try for baby and enable it. This might have been what was throwing it off because it said disabled, but then I had it so that it was working in cast. So this worked. These sims don't have the settings to do it without, like, the, these sims are, uh, they're not, like, set so that one can get the other pregnant. So that's just with MC Command Center. So that's how, that's how you do it. That should fix it. Maybe I'll try these two also, just to see what happens. Wake up. Try for baby. Can you leave the room? I'm busy. Is Hope here? Does she know we figured it out? <laughs> Come on. Yeah, I don't know. I've never had problems with Stanley being able to have, cause I, Stanley, I let, uh, he's able to get pregnant from anybody and he can, Stanley can also get people pregnant. So I don't know why he never has a problem. Cause if I'm being perfectly honest with you, I, I play with Stanley Humphrey and a bunch of lesbian couples. So most of my experience with pregnancy in the sims is either stanley or lesbian couples <laughs> so i i notice the problem the most often with like couples like this um and with my hot dog sim but that's pretty so anyway i the problem happens a lot but I, stanley's never had an issue so anyway we fixed it <laughs> I, I believe that problem should be solved do you oh wait can you not take a pregnancy test? What? Okay, it might not be solved. I said, I said, so the sim with green hair can get the other one pregnant. Well, do you not want a woohoo or are you going to? Okay. Yeah, you can do it really easily without mods, Miss Warrior. In, the problem is the mod that I had was like breaking it and overriding it. Um, in cast, you can just set it so that anyone can get anyone pregnant. Like, you can just change it really easily, so. Well, that worked. Okay, so it's fixed then. <laughs> Sorry to have alarmed all of you, um, with that. Everything is fine. Good. Uh, but the, so maybe, maybe it's okay if you have initiator and target selected, and maybe that just means you can get two parents out of the one, like, they can both be pregnant and it will be fine. And it was the first setting that was messed up. Cause I guess that makes sense. I suppose I did have like same sex pregnancy off in MC Command Center, but I didn't know that. 
I didn't know it was there. <laughs> um, I don't know. Okay. Is there a reason you only have lesbian couples? I, I don't actually only have lesbian couples. I just, I play with, I don't know. I don't know. I like them. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know how to answer that question, to be honest. <laughs> I, don't, I don't do it on purpose. <laughs> it's more fun this way, I don't know. They're better and more fun. I just, I, that's how it works. <laughs> okay, so you are pregnant. You are fine now, yes? Good. Um, okay. It's not true. I don't actually only play with them, though. Think about Not So Berry. I've had, like, at least three male legacy heirs. That was really brave of me. No, I think only two. Anyway, um, anyway, <laughs> I'm not, well, you can have, I'll give money to charity. I'll give money to charity. Okay, um, would you like, I guess you're going to eat now. This baby is asleep. This baby could use some skill. Do you want to come talk to this bear, maybe? I've also barely taken care of your skills. Mass sims are harder to play with for you. Yeah, I guess, I don't know. I don't, I don't, it's rare that I'll, I'll like make a straight man sim and play with them. And I don't think that I'm doing that on purpose necessarily. It's just that like, I, I don't really do that that often. Um, so. I'm gonna tell I was gray, gray hair. Oh, they have like a, it's like a platinum blonde hair. I don't know why it's that color though. Free is because the cast items lack for male sims. That might be part of it, to be honest. Oh, I can kill Zoe now too, because I'm pregnant with her baby. Let me do that. I have to take a photo with her first and then we can kill her. Real world for straight men. Sims for LGBTQ+. <laughs> You make a good point there. Oh, my son is in this picture. <laughs> I mean, you're, just <laughs> you're not wrong. Okay, let me try to expand this basement. Um, let's lay all the candles. So what I think I'm gonna try and do is put move objects on and then I'm gonna try, Oh my god, I just imagined a cat. Oh, how does this always happen to me? I'm gonna try to extend this as far as it lets me. Can't connect blocks from different levels. Is that... Now... Any ideas, friends, about why that's going on? Oh, is that the biggest I can make it? Oh, because of the foundation ending. I see. Okay, we have a new problem. And it's that the foundation is over. I think that we need to start trying to bring it around, maybe. The problem is, right, maybe I can try, okay, hold on. I think what I'll try and do is scoot this back. Okay, we'll start there. We go backwards. Conflicting block clusters. Oh, please. I don't want to have to redo all of them. What items did it put in my inventory? Oh, God. I hate doing this. I, so this is the problem. I don't want to mess with the basement too much because I'm going to ruin something. <sighs> okay, how about this? Let's just start wrapping it around the back, okay? We'll start wrapping it around the back this way. And I'll basically, like, duplicate this same thing. 
We don't need the bonus graves on this side. Those extra graves, by the way, if you're like, what the heck is that? Why do you have extra graves? Um, and some of them, why do they have two graves? It's because a couple of these, I had to kill them twice because of glitches. Like I, with this one, with Don Lothario, um, he died and then my pregnancy totally glitched out because of the multiplayer mod because I forgot to turn it off. And then um, I had to bring him back to life and get re-pregnant to fix it. So he's dead twice. Um, this guy died when I was woohooing him before I got pregnant, so I had to kill him twice. Um, there's also some fake graves because the it glitched out and didn't give me their gravestones properly, so that's why. <laughs> kind of weird, but that's why. <laughs> Ooh, died mid woohoo. Yeah, that happens um, to Sims that have the. Uh, I'm just gonna sell all this stuff. Elders can die from overexertion, so um, that happened to him because he died when we were woohooing because he was an elder. Okay, Zoe Patel. This is very exciting. Plan for the third row of graves too? No, I think we should be okay for now. Let me add Zoe onto the spreadsheet also. 45, Zoe Patel. Excellent, um, perfect. <laughs> Wonderful, beautiful. Did I change the picture frame's name? For, oh, don't enable emotional aura. Oh, 45 Zoe Patel. Well, I'm glad we fixed that. Thank you, chat, for helping me troubleshoot that setting because I I get, there's so many settings in MC Command Center that it's really easy to like lose them, you know? Okay, how do you guys want to kill Zoe? Um, kill Sim. Death by embarrassment? You think old age? We did flies last time. How about overexertion? Oh, she- oh, she went to pick up my trash and then she died! <laughs> she was gonna clean up the trash and then she died! Oh. Well, the trash was just too much. I've seen one too many dirty diaper today. <laughs> I get it, I get it. Okay, you can go work on your sliding then. You need to take care of your needs. I get it, I hate taking out the trash. Was that paparazzi? Um, <laughs> you guys, that's not good. That's really, really, really not good. <laughs> <laughs> There's photo evidence of me killing someone. <laughs> There's a witness. <laughs> hmm. Okay, well. Bye, Zoe. I feel kind of bad because she has to be like all alone on her side of the graveyard. This is good though. I, I stand by this. Okay, and the other thing that I wanted to do, I have a lot of stuff I can sell from my inventory. Why don't I start there? Um, we also have some more of these happening, so I'll put these back. These are from all the most recent babies. I have the baby prints from all the kids so far. All right, would you like to open this piece of fan mail? Oh, cute! We can display that if you want. I like it. This is also fan mail. But they're letters, and I'm scared that they're gonna send me something creepy. Okay. And then the last thing I wanted to do, we have some seed packets. I thought it might be kind of fun. I probably should take care of the baby, but maybe my son can do that. Oh, and you don't need to be sad. That's the other thing. I, I always cheat away their sadness, because as if they're upset about Zoe dying, they didn't even know her. Like, I, I stand by the fact that they wouldn't care. All right. Um, baby care, bottle feed, why don't you? You, what were you gonna do? I don't remember. I had a thing, oh, she was gonna plant the things, that's right. We make most of our money from painting. She's a pretty successful painter these days. Okay. 
They're sad because their mom got caught killing. Oh, yeah. That makes a bit more sense. I, I can see why that would be upsetting for them. I, I get it. I get it. I'd like to try and splice and grow a cow plant. I feel like that'd be kind of fun. Stop talking to the baby. Really? That's all, like, practically worthless to me. Just sell the rest of it, okay? And then come plant these, why don't you? Baby seems fine. How are you doing? You need- oh. Kill Bob Pancakes? Oh, we had a baby with him a long time ago, so Bob Pancakes is, like, super dead. Bob Pancakes is long dead. Who is the recent baby parent? Um, so the baby, this one that's just born, you know Joaquin from Get Together? He's the baby daddy of this one. And we're currently pregnant with Zoe Patel's baby. So we've got two at the moment that are recent. Super dead. <laughs> Super dead. Okay. Um... You can eat this and then go talk to the bear. This thing from Get to Work Sim Bunny, it's a fridge, but it's open. So it's really useful because you can like just have Sims grab leftovers out of it without having to open the fridge and get leftovers, which is also really good for like toddlers because I don't need to try to feed them or like take food out for them. They can just get the food themselves when they're toddlers out of that fridge and it keeps it, it keeps it cool. So it takes care of it. Um, okay, how are you doing? We need to get our communication and movement skills up. I was hoping to do this by today, so that way uh, we could age her up over the weekend, but I didn't work fast enough, so she's actually not going to age up over the weekend. Obviously, it's already Sunday night, so Monday morning even. So I kind of fumbled that a little bit, to be honest. Okay, you just go to bed, kiddo. You go to sleep. All right. All right, all right, all right. You are also exhausted. Put me down, put me down. Okay, you can go to sleep, okay? Everyone sleep. Shh, it's okay. Go to sleep. Oh, wait, stop, 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 stop. Put the baby to bed. Try that too. What did I do with Bob Pancakes? Oh, I had a kid with him. And then, uh, hold on. It's gonna take me a minute, because the list is quite long. Oh, there he is. Bob Pancakes. Yeah. We had, tri I had triplets with him. I had triplets with him. So actually, he was lucky. He lives on. I don't know if Eliza's still around. All the OG Sims are dying off. So, things are not going very well <laughs> for the OG Sims. They're all dying of old age, slowly. I could probably try and add in some more. Oh, Eloise might be fun to have a baby with. Silas? I don't know. Now I fixed it. We can have kids with anybody. It's going to be easier. I think Bella Goth is dead. I think Bella Goth died a while ago, unfortunately. Um, Drew, we haven't added anyone. We haven't added anyone to the game to use uh, as like donors, as you say, yet. Um, because what I wanted to do was try and have kids with as many of the OG townies as I could before they all died of old age, which, as you can see, is like really close to happening. Like Katrina just died. They're we're we're in the midst of all the OG townies dying. So once that happens, then I'm gonna do like a baby with Stanley Humphrey. I might like get some funny ones of like a celebrity or something. And then we can start looking maybe for some people that you all have made, but we aren't quite there yet. I wanna like exhaust all of the townies first because we're not gonna have a chance to do it again because they're all gonna die. I log in and you hear, I think Bella Goth is dead. <laughs> Oh yeah, we had kids with Vlad, he's dead too. Vlad is also super dead. It's safe, it's a safe bet, honestly. All the main OG townies, I had kids with them and they're already dead, for the most part. 
So. <laughs> Shella's had random baby daddies in costumes. Yeah, that's a, that's a fun idea too. We can try and do some of that as well. Um, ooh, yikes. 9,000 simoleon weekly bill. Can we have one with Peppa? See, that's the spirit. We'll have one with Peppa Pig. I like that. I like that. Definitely. Stanley and Peppa are probably top of the list, huh? Okay. Um. Okay. Oh, first blowout milestone. Yikes. Let's take care of all this Sims needs. Do you want to come watch or channel surf or something? Because I want your fun to be up higher before you go to school. And your social is low. Um, maybe talk to your sibling before you go to school. My sim socials are always low. Blobby too? Oh, that'll be good. Okay. You can be jokesters and we'll send the kids alone to school. Okay, bye. Have a good day at school, kiddos. Have a good day. I'll see you later. Study hard, study hard. Okay, you kiddo. Oh my god, you didn't even... You didn't sleep? I didn't notice that she didn't sleep. So that's inconvenient. Okay. We got some more milestones unlocked. What are you doing? Oh, smelly. Okay, let's bathe it. We'll start there. Give bubble bath to the new baby. This baby needs to work on movement and communication. We have to get them aged up today. We need the toddlers to become children today. It's bad. We're being slow. It's actually kind of urgent. And then I can hopefully get this one aged up today too. What does super dead mean? Oh, they're referencing something that I said in my stream the other day. We were making up a story of um, some sims backstory for a house, a family, and then they, you know, the grandparents were, in my words, super dead. Okay. I guess, if anything, in The Sims, this is the kind of place where you can be super dead, because you could be, like, dead but a ghost, or you could be, like, dead, dead, super dead. You know? Caroline, some of the dead sims have multiple urns because uh, for some of them, I had to kill them twice because of glitches, basically. Um, so that's why. They are super dead. <laughs> to put it lightly. Because <laughs> I had to kill them twice. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. I hate having to hold the babies. They're so glitched. Ugh. Get carried here. Come on, come on. Okay, good. How are you doing, kiddo? You are, you've got all your firsts. You've got the socials. You don't have any of the fine motor or anything. So maybe I'll try and work on tummy time with you. Tummy time. Tummy time. Tummy time. Tummy time, okay. Ignore that. Toothpaste did just get some book royalties. That's kind of fun. All right, and you have your movement skill ready. I might see if I can try to get the rest of the skills while you, before you have to go to bed. Because we're close. If I can try and get them before you pass out. Maybe I can age you up. We'll see. I'll watch this very closely. You're angry and tired. Oh no, not anymore. <laughs> Listen, you guys, sometimes sometimes you gotta do a couple cheats, okay? Sometimes you just gotta do it. Okay. Um, level two, we're getting there. I like Smelly. That's a cute one. Did you see that call? I should I shouldn't even say this out loud. I saw the, the I got a call from a sim about named Tommy T O M I, and 
What, that name is absolutely, completely, and totally ruined to me by that miserable, nightmare Republican woman, Tommy Laren, or Lauren, or whatever her name is. Whenever I see that name, I think of her. So I got that call, and I was like, ugh. Like, I had, like, an instant, like, recoil. Like, ooh. Tommy, T-O-M-I, ugh. <laughs> Sorry to bring her up. But whenever I see the name, I think about that person, and it makes me uncomfortable. <sighs> ugh. <laughs> Can't help it. Um, anyway, she's a very hateful, horrible person, so I shouldn't even bring it up, but... Long story short, she sucks. Oh yeah, I did divorce a sim with that name in my YouTube legacy. I didn't name that sim. She was born with that name. But I did divorce that one. Well, there you go. Two strikes. Go to bed, it's okay. You wake up, kiddo, how are you doing? You need your movement and communication too, but you're getting close. So hopefully I can get you aged up. Um, all right. Grades are up, grades are up. Okay, good. That makes me feel better. I have some extra school projects now too, so maybe I'll save those, but one of these Sims is gonna have to leave. Is this yours? No. Well, kiddo. You can go and watch some TV because you've got to be in school and you can age up. Oh, I have to bake another cake. Oh my god. They keep getting to the cake before me. I'm usually pretty quick about this, but today I've had to make so many cakes. You make a chocolate cake, okay? You take care of your fun. You're miserable. <laughs> um... You, why didn't you go back to sleep? Why don't they stay asleep? Is it because the baby was screaming? Did that wake you up, maybe? It might have been the baby. That's my bad. Baby care, feed, breastfeed. Okay. Okay, hopefully Turnip doesn't start a fire doing this, because I don't really trust him. We might actually manage to have the third baby that I wanted to today. Uh-oh, who's calling? Little Slazy. All right, do you want to try and work on this one's milestones again? Tummy time. Tummy time. No, no, no. So, Jacob, I always add candles before I put it in the fridge, but what's been happening is, like, um, I've been aging up, like, two sims at once on occasion. Did you not even finish the cake? I've been aging up, like, two sims at once. Um, and then, like, getting distracted because all of a sudden I'm in labor and, like, all this stuff is going on. And so I forget to put the candles back on because I went into labor. Or, like, before I got to the- before the third sim could get to it, someone grabbed something. It's just because there's too many sims. I'm usually very good about keeping candles on the cake in the fridge, but they're eating it before I even get a chance to put the candles back on is the problem. He put the cake in the living room. Oh, he did make one. Oh. False alarm. Sorry. Add birthday candles. Anyway, but what you can do is you can age them up and then put the candles back and then put it back in the fridge with the cake still candled. He's high maintenance, ew. Okay, anyway, but do that and then save it. As long as you're fast enough and the stems don't get to it before you, then you're fine. I wasn't fast enough before. Did you get the milestone you needed? Roll over to back milestone. Oh, good, okay, look at toys. I can try and get you ready to age up. I can also probably get you a bath. How about that? Chocolate cake looks pretty good. You think you're hungry? I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I don't know what I'm gonna do for dinner tonight, but we'll see. Dan pulled a muscle. This is unrelated to dinner. I'm probably gonna have to cook it, I guess, so it is related. But Dan pulled a muscle in his, like, back or side or something yesterday. He, like, fully canceled stream today because he's in so much pain and so uncomfortable because he, like, pulled a muscle somewhere weird. And so he can, like, barely move. He doesn't even know how it happened. It just, like, all of a sudden started happening. So he's not thriving. <laughs> That's why he didn't stream today is because he was in, like, all his pain. Um... Hopefully it uh, goes away quick. Oops, wrong household. Hopefully it goes away quick and it's not too bad. But he's like been, he's gotten injured multiple times the past couple months. It's been, it's been really bad actually. Um, but, all right. 
How's his foot? Oh, his ankle's better. He's fine now with his ankle. Um, he, like, sprained his ankle pretty bad a couple months ago. Um, it was really nasty, actually. It was, like, his whole ankle was purple. It was really gross and, like, really swollen. But he's, he's fine now. That's better. It's healed. Um, and now this has happened. <laughs> so. Um, is he really low on calcium or something? Because your husband kept getting hurt and muscle strain and stuff, and it turned out he was calcium deficient. Ooh, that's interesting. I'm gonna tell Dan that. Please no Twitch doctors. However, that is interesting. We should probably take him to the doctor over this. And that might be, it might be good to get a little check. Oh, you saw I took a screenshot. Um, but that's, that's interesting. Poor thing is getting old, I know. <laughs> I know. What does that mean for me in the next two years? <laughs> no, that's, well, I don't know. That's an interesting concept, though. I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case. You thought you pulled a muscle in your back. That was actually a kidney stone? Oh. Well, that's bad. Yeah, you wouldn't have thought to check that. So that's, honestly, that's good advice, um, Sky. Okay. Okay. Would you like to go and how, what's this one doing? Trying to take care of itself. You have, you're going to get your bath. <laughs> I sent Dan the screenshots. He said, am I being diagnosed? Hold on. IDK, you keep getting injured. Just a thought. <laughs> Okay, what's wrong with you? You haven't gotten your skills up. Oh my god, I'm not gonna get them aged up in time. All right, all right, all right, all right. Go work on this too. You went to the hospital once with chest pains and it turned out you actually pulled muscle directly over your heart. Oh! Yeah, chest pains are, I'm, I'm real bad for that because I, I give myself really horrible chest pains from my anxiety a lot. And there's a, a constant like battle of, am I literally dying or is this an anxiety problem? And this, this is like a, I'm not kidding, an extremely frequent occurrence. Like it's bad. <laughs> It's real bad. <laughs> and that makes the anxiety worse. Then it's just like, yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Um, <laughs> and I have a lot of health anxiety too, which I think is justified because of like my dad being like having cancer and stuff. So like anytime anything like slightly goes wrong, extreme panic. And I like cause myself health problems because of all my anxiety. So like it just... You know? Anyway. <laughs> it's a spiral. It's a real spiral. Vicious anxiety cycle, huh? Yeah, but I'm not alone in that. I know a lot of people have that problem, so. Sometimes it helps to, to know that other people do it too, right? <laughs> What's my Discord? Oh, my name, uh, our server is just uh, discord.gg forward slash lilsimsy. We got a link in the chat there. Um, okay. I did a lot of work on the server this morning. I have, I've been working on some channels that I'm gonna publish in a couple, maybe tomorrow if I have some more time, um, which is kind of fun. Um, so if you wanna join, I'm gonna try out the, f I, well, maybe I shouldn't say it, but I'm gonna, I wanna try out the, the new forums thing. I've been afraid to try it until it was around longer on Discord, because anytime you add something new into a big server, it's kind of like, ooh. But I wanna try the, the new forums feature for like mods and CC in the Discord server, because I think that it will be helpful for discussion in there. Um, and maybe for like, if it works, we can try and add it for some other stuff. Um, maybe like for the cozy games and things like that. Um, but anyway, I've been experimenting a little bit, <laughs> so. Okay, kid, are you done? Your communication is the last thing. We'll just hug a couple more times, then I can age you up. So that'll be good. Almost there, almost there. There we go. Okay, that's level three and three skills. I can age this one up now. Open, come here. Candles help from your mother, please. 
such a noob with Discord. Yeah, I, I totally get that. Um, it's uh, They've also added a lot to it in the past couple years, so it's gotten a little bit more complicated. Um, anyway. Cowardly, that's really nice of you to say. <laughs> that's a really kind thing to say. Thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I like her little braid. That's cute. Okay, add birthday candles. Quick, before they get to it themselves. Okay. And now you are miserable. <laughs> Sorry, I was making you work on skills all night. You didn't get to sleep or anything. Um, yeah, I use Discord daily and I have for like literal years. And even I find Discord confusing at times these days, cause, especially because of all the new stuff they've added. I'm like, whoa, forum channels, chill out. What are you talking about? <laughs> Anyway, um, what side is the cable on for your headphones? They're really nice. Oh, actually, these are wireless headphones. You don't have to use them with a cable. And if you use them wireless, they're cool because they light up a little bit. Um, I use them wired because I have a complicated microphone setup and I use um, an XLR mic and stuff. So um, this is not the kind of thing that the average person would need. Um, these are nice wireless headphones, but I use them wired because I can't show you. Maybe I. No, I can't. I have a Go XLR. I can't pull it far enough to show you, but I have a mixer and stuff, and I don't know how to listen to my own audio with a mixer um, with wireless headphones. So maybe don't pick it up. Don't touch it, because I'll unplug it by accident. That'll be really bad, because then you won't hear me anymore. Um, but yeah, I, I, it, these are wireless headphones, though. They're pretty nice. I like them a lot. Um, but you don't have to use them with a cable. This is a third-party cable, believe it or not, <laughs> that I'm using. So, technology is confusing. Yeah, it's not It's not even just like that technology is confusing. It's more that like specifically using a Go XLR is confusing. Um, the the kind of mixer that I have. She, she's kind of wacky and it kind of messes with all the audio on my computer. So, um, anyway. <laughs> anyway. You're taking a bath right now at a time like this? Go to sleep. What side is the cable left or right? Please, it's on the left side of my head. They said thanks, but what side is the cable on? <laughs> I know I didn't answer your question. It's on the left side. Um, tried using wireless earbuds with the Sims and it won't work well. Oh yeah, I've never tried to use, um, I don't like a thing like that before with my, um, with my PC. Not like like earbuds, I mean, I've obviously used wireless headphones, but um, interesting. Okay. Yeah, I've been sponsored with Logitech before. I'm, they're not paying me to say this right now, but I like these headphones. <laughs> um, but anyway, I have been sponsored with them before. I, they sent me these headphones and stuff, but I like them. I wouldn't sit here talking about how much I like them if I didn't, because why would I tell you to buy something that's bad? Um, anyway, Logitech in general has really good headphones though. You can't really go wrong. Okay. You are smelly and tired. Yikes. I'll give you a bath. Little toddler or little tiny baby. Hmm. What is a third party cable? Oh, it's like a, these are Logitech headphones, but um, and I have a Go XLR mixer, but th this is just like a random cable I bought off Amazon. <laughs> it like doesn't come with the headphones. It also is getting a hole in it because of my cats. I'm gonna need to buy a new one. I just noticed this, look. I swear I haven't even seen them chew on it, but I wouldn't be surprised if they did. <sighs> Ridiculous. Um. Okay. Um, good for people to know you didn't choose them yourself based on independent research. <laughs> okay, I know you're not trying to accuse me of being dishonest, but let's just to be clear, um, I, I would, if I were to buy a pair of Logitech headphones, these are the ones that I would buy. Yes, they sent them to me, but these are the headphones that I would purchase if I were to buy a pair from, of headphones from Logitech. <laughs> Oh my goodness, doing sponsor stuff at times can really confuse people and I don't want you guys to think that I'm dishonest, but anyway, I if I were to pick a headset off of Logitech's website, I would pick these. 
Um, oh. Shella bought them. See? <laughs> um, anyway, we don't. I'm not sponsored by them right now or anything. We don't need to talk about it. Um, okay. Yeah, the whole collection is really nice. They ha I like having the matching like white stuff. I, just, I think it's pretty. So. Um, anyway, would you like to put the baby back to bed? Get put by Rosa to bed. Come on, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. You want a cloud wrist support? Yeah, it's kind of cute. It's the whole, the whole collection is kind of cute, so. Um, anyway, I have a long-standing partnership with Logitech, so just to be clear, they have paid me for many things in the past, but um, I'm just in general a big fan of theirs, so. That's kind of the bonus of working with a company that you like and actively use. Did you not even bathe the kid? I thought you did. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> it's, it's a win for everybody. Uh, play lullaby, maybe. Um, Buffy, they, Logitech has a whole bunch of headphones that come in black. If you're looking for a pair of new headphones, there's a, they've got many, many, many. Both my dad and brother and Dan all have uh, black headphones from Logitech. I don't actually know which ones Dan, my brother, or my dad use, but they all have Logitech headphones too that are black if you're looking for some. <laughs> I don't know which ones they have though. <laughs> I've never, I've never asked. <laughs> I think, what was I going to do? It's, I need to have her finish sleeping, I think, most importantly, probably. Go to sleep. My dad has, um, they did like a, actually I know what one he has. I'd have to look it up again. But they did like a Star Wars collab. Oh, it's these. Hold on. My dad has, uh, it's like a Mandalorian collaboration. I show you. This one is what my dad has. You don't need to get this, but he has these. They're nice. Do I ever stream on YouTube? I have streamed on YouTube one time. One time in my life. I did it uh, back during my charity fundraiser in May. Um, I was kind of mostly as an experiment because um, I had never done it before, like, I, obviously I had streamed on, um, on Twitch for many, many, many years, and I hadn't streamed on YouTube ever, um, and I did not have an exclusive contract with Twitch anymore, because I don't really do those anymore, at least not for, like, people like me. The big shots might get contracts, but not me. Um, so I can do whatever I want now, and I did it for, for the one stream. Um, it was interesting as an experiment. Couple things that I noticed. Number one, I thought that the chat was slow, okay? Turns out, I had it on recommended chat instead of actual chat the whole time, and the chat was actually unbearably fast from what I've been told. Um, I didn't know that because I had switched it to like normal chat and then it switched back on its own and I didn't know. Um, Cause it didn't tell me, it wasn't obvious to me that, I, that that had happened. Uh, also by default, the streamer can't see moderator actions in YouTube chat. I had to like change a bunch of settings, which I think is stupid. I fixed it so I could see them, but like on Twitch, I see every message my mods delete. I see any person my mods ban, but on YouTube, they had it like, so you couldn't see it by default, which is really weird. In general, YouTube has like way worse moderation, which is a massive downside. Like the way that we mod right now, you physically cannot do on YouTube. There's like no, there's no mod tools really. Like you can ban and you can time out and that's it. You can't even unban. Like the moderation on YouTube is horrible. So that's a massive downside. Um, I don't really know what the chat's gonna be like if I ever did it again, because I didn't see it properly because I had the setting on wrong, but it switched itself back without me knowing. So how was I supposed to know? Um, it was fun. I liked it, but uh, I, I feel sort of like at home on Twitch. Um, I really, I really enjoy streaming on Twitch and I like the community that we have on Twitch. And so I, I don't really have any desire to become like a full-time YouTube streamer and YouTube video maker. Like I sort of like having the separation. Um, that might change in the future, but I doubt it, at least not right now. Um, I like it here, I really like it here. And, and YouTube, I might do like the like occasional one-off streams like that, you know, like where I, um, 
I did like one day of our charity event on YouTube and and maybe if I wanted to do like a special live edition of one of my let's plays or like if I wanted to renovate a let's play house like I might consider doing that on YouTube um but um I really I really like streaming on Twitch and I I find Twitch to be a like far superior platform for the most part um if, as far as streaming goes um as far as streaming goes. Um, you'd love to hear my thoughts about the complications of being a partnered creator, like with EA or Logitech sometime. Um, in, in, what, in what way do you mean? Because I think that like, specifically with, a, I'm going to talk about The Sims and like partnering with The Sims on things because that's where like, <laughs> it's caused me the most problems. Um, people the the uh, so my my relationship with EA is they give me a free Sims pack, okay, and sometimes they'll tell me when a pack is gonna come out. Sometimes they don't. <laughs> so there's like some some behind the scenes information sometimes, and I get access to the packs oftentimes like a couple days early, and I get a free code for a ten dollar stuff pack, right? But people assume I think that the relationship there is bigger than what it is. And that causes me big problems because then they they believe that I cannot be unbiased when discussing a Sims pack, which is ridiculous <laughs> because the assumption that I could be bought for a $10 code is offensive. <laughs> Um, I don't think that most people think that, but like that sort of causes problems. Obviously, it's it's worthwhile to work with them still because I I think I gain a lot from like having early access to the packs and stuff on, at times. But um, yeah, it does it does complicate things though. <laughs> I'm gonna try and get to know Eloise so I can have a baby with her next. Um, Ten dollars does not buy Kayla's opinion. Come on, come on. <laughs> Um, and I like to think that I make honest reviews about things and I talk about what I honestly dislike about things, but not everybody sees all of that content. Like, they might not have ever seen a video where I was, like, mean about a Sims pack. So they're like, oh, she only ever says nice things about the Sims. Um, meanwhile, go live notification today was, I hate this game. <laughs> uh, but people just don't, they don't always see all that, so they don't always know. Um... Anyway, that kind of complicates it. Just the assumption that there's like a greater relationship there than there actually is. I also, um, when people assume that I know when packs are coming out or I know like insider info about packs, it makes me feel sad because everybody, I guarantee it, everybody in this chat right now, or at least most of you, you, I, I'm certain, are operating under the impression that I know about the next expansion pack and I'm lying. And I'm not. <laughs> but like, just because like, one pack I knew about early, the next one I might not. But like, people, people really, like I, everyone here thinks I know about it and I don't. And no one's gonna believe me when I'm like, I don't know about this pack, <laughs> but like, I don't. So it, that part makes it kind of hard too. Um, anyway, it's kind of funny how that happens. I can age up the baby now. <laughs> uh, leave me alone. I don't want to get that person's number. Leave me alone, leave me alone. Ooh, we were intense and now we're fussy. <laughs> wow, great traits you got there, little one. You're doing great, huh? <sighs> but that is the risk you take, I guess. It's not a big deal. It's just like, um, I, I think that like morally, I don't like being called a liar, I think. So it just kind of, it just kind of makes me feel sad when everybody's like, you're lying, I know you know. And I'm like, but I don't. <laughs> or like, it's worse when they say you're lying, you actually hate the pack and you're just like pretending to like it so that EA will keep sending you codes. I just, that part, I, I, I think that I find really insulting when people accuse me of lying about that because it's like, I, I have no motivation to get you to waste your money. There's no reason that I would tell you to buy a pack that I actually think is not worth it. I'll sit here and tell you all day, Wedding Stories is a horrible pack. Yeah, it's a bit better than it was before, but it still sucks. It's still super glitchy. It's unbearable. <laughs> and and I have no desire to like get these people to waste money on a pack that I don't think they should buy. Like I try to, when I make a review of a pack, I try to 
talk about like, here's all the good and all the bad so that you can make a decision, an informed decision for yourself based on what you want and what you value in the game. Um, Cause I don't like, I just, I'm picturing like these kids making their Christmas list and God, I'm not trying to get them to buy something that sucks. <laughs> You know, like, I don't want these people to spend their, their birthday money on a pack that I think is a waste. I have no, no motivation to encourage people to do that. So, anyway. But, it's okay. Most people don't think that. Toothpaste is very hungry, uh-oh. It does happen occasionally. Okay, I'm gonna try and have a baby with Eloise, I think. Oh, Eloise just fed my rat. Um, I'm going to try and talk to this. Um, <laughs> yikes, Pyro. Um, I, I'm not, I don't talk about pirating on my streams. We don't talk about those things, like, and, and, like, we don't allow people to share links to illegal downloads to the game. Um, at least onto The Sims 4. We talk a lot about acquiring Sims 3 store content, but um, I don't talk about pirating The Sims 4 on purpose. That's intentional. Um, and I, I don't know, I try my best to call EA out for things. And also, just so you guys know, um, I've had in the past many a meeting behind the scenes with like members of The Sims team about issues. Um, and about things that are concerning. Like you think about like, remember when Wedding Stories came out and there was like a whole uproar about them choosing not to sell it in certain countries and stuff. Um, like that's, I didn't talk about this really at the time cause I don't want to be like, well, I wouldn't talk to them behind, you know, behind the scenes. But I had like calls with them about that. Um, and calls about those things about like, I like immediately like, hey, this is a problem. We need to talk about this. So, and I, I'd like to think that that um, is doing a lot of po positive work behind the scenes for those things because it's like a direct talk, direct line of like, what is the problem? Um, so anyway, just know I really care about the Sims and I really want it to be good and I really uh, want them to do the right thing always with everything. So um, anyway. <sighs> well, this is the less positive conversation now. <laughs> But yeah, I try. I really do try. I want this game to be good. And I want everything to be good. I want the community to be good. That's that's always my goal. All right. Uh, offer a rose. First kiss. All right. We'll be able to have a kid with her next. Then that'll be set up. Then perfect. Perfect. Take a photo. Oh. No! Don't leave. Come back. <laughs> no. <laughs> Can I reset her? I wanted to take a selfie with her. Hold on. I need to get it ready for the next... Oh, Eloise. Do I plan on trying Life by You when it comes out? Yeah, I would like to. I Life by You is kind of... It's kind of giving me the ick a little bit. When I... Like, the pictures. Um, I... The... It, it looks, it looks kind of ugly to me. I think that Life by You, I don't know if I'm going to like it that much when it comes out. Don't get me wrong, I would like to like it. Um, this will be number 46. Eloise Hiddlesticks. Okay, I would like to like it. I just, um, I think that Life by You seems to be almost targeting the wrong demographic of of simulation game players like it seems like it's gonna need to have some really high spec requirements so you're gonna need like a super computer not a super computer but like similar to the kind of pc that i have to run it and it's not gonna run on like the average person's laptop that well um which a lot of games don't obviously the sims doesn't either but the sims does actually try to optimize to run on like even like poor computers um like poor quality computers i mean um and so uh I don't think that Life by You is going to be working well for that. I don't think that it's going to run well on, on most people's computers, and that's going to be a massive problem for it when... If I'm in labor, then why can't I go to the hospital? Oh, there it is. Um, that's going to be a big problem for the audience, because most of the Sims audience doesn't have a gaming PC. The vast majority of the Sims audience doesn't have a gaming PC. And, it, and they're focusing a lot on these customization things that, like... 
I don't really care about. Like, it's like all this weird stuff about like dialogue customization, but then there's like not kids. <laughs> so, um, I guess it's just, uh, it's just a little bit, it's a different sort of game. Um, it's, I don't know. Um, there's some, some things about it that I find concerning. I don't know if I'm gonna like it that much. Yeah, so many of these games, they're doing this. It's like not gonna have like all the life states at first. Um, but it probably will eventually, but it's like not gonna be working right. It's gonna feel like a young adult party simulator, kind of like how The Sims 4 was when it first launched. Um, and I think that's a big problem. I think it's a big, big, big problem. I, I forget what the exact wording of it was, but it was like talking about how um, there's like not gonna be school at first, there's just work and like these weird things um, about it. And that concerns me. I, I have hopes because it's got a big studio backing it that it'll maybe be good, but I just feel like, um, they also have to delay it like six months, but I just feel like I'm kind of nervous about it. I'll play it, I'll definitely try it, but I'm kind of nervous about it. And then the other one is um, that is talked about a lot is Paralives. And you guys gotta understand, there is absolutely no release timeline for Paralives, okay? It's not gonna like come out next year and kill The Sims 4. It isn't ready. <laughs> They're super early in development. These sort of games take a long time to make and it's also been made by a very small studio. So they are at a massive disadvantage compared to a lot of these other games that have like the funding and the backing of something big like EA behind it. Doesn't mean it's not gonna be good. It's just something to consider. We have to like, uh, you know, manage our expectations about timeline and about like the release. Um, and the, the fear that I have, cause this happens with a lot of games, um, is that it's gonna come out probably in early access and they're not gonna have like any of the things that they promised people. Cause they keep, in my opinion, over promising with Paralives. They're like, what do simmers get mad about? Okay, let's promise that we're gonna have it in the game. Um, and I, I fear that they're over promising and they're not gonna be able to deliver on that promise and then people are gonna get mad and then not wanna play it anymore and then it's gonna cause them big problems. Cause I don't think it's bad if they're missing some of those things on release, it's a small game. But I don't want them to over promise and then have people be like, this sucks and then never give it a second chance. <sighs> So I, that, that part makes me nervous about it because I want it to succeed. I really, really, really want it to succeed, but I don't, I just, we need to like manage expectations about it for it to succeed. So, um, anyway, <laughs> we can randomize the next baby's name. Um, we, we randomize the names off of our, our fundraiser list. This baby's going to be number 526. The baby is going to be called Booger. The baby is going to be called Booger. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, anyway, I'm excited about Paralyzed. I just, uh, I have some nerves about like people's expectations for it and stuff because I don't want them to, to think that it's bad. All right, I'm gonna try and get pregnant with the next baby while we're here. Is that one jumping? Oh, it's walking. I thought it was floating for a second. Let me try and call up Eloise again. Oh, Eloise is still here, yay! Okay, we can try for a baby with her then. Try for baby in hot tub. Booger's kind of a cute name, yeah. But anyway, I it just, I think the other reason that it makes me nervous is because with like their, their over promising to be like everything The Sims is not, <laughs> they're sort of catering to the audience of Sims players who is like anti-Sims and that's okay, but like, are those people gonna be really easily anti paralyzed too? Uh, like that's, that's just kind of makes me nervous about it. They're like catering to an audience that doesn't like games. <laughs> you rolled 526 and did 529. Oh, did I? No, I did 526. Oh, you're looking at this. Uh, the numbers are off. We use the, we go by this number. Um, we go by this number. Oh, you can't see. I, I go by this number here intentionally. Um, 
because we have like other uh, boxes like the title and stuff, so. Okay. Let's see if we are pregnant. Um, MC Command Center, MC Pregnancy. Oh, not pregnant. I try for a baby again. What if it doesn't work? <laughs> what if it's like last time and it doesn't work, even though I tried to fix it? <laughs> I also, the other thing that makes me nervous about it is like, because so many people are, are so like, oh my god, Paralyzed is gonna destroy The Sims, finally! Uh, down with The Sims 4, I'm so excited about Paralyzed. I don't think that it's gonna do that. Like, Paralyzed is a new game. It, it's never gonna have, like, it doesn't have that 20 year history that The Sims does. And it doesn't need to. Like, we can like these two games at the same time. You think about how many farming games I play? And, like, so many of them are, like, Stardew Valley dupes, okay? Let's be real for a second. Coral Island is one of, like, the m most talked about games this year. Some of these things, it has more, but, like, at its core, a lot of these games are, like, literally Stardew Valley 2.0. <laughs> like, the game mechanics are the exact same. So, I played, um, my time at Portia, like, it literally even had some same names of some characters that are in, like, other games. And, and Star Stardew Valley is, like, the same as Harvest Moon, so, at its core, all of these games are very similar. I'm not sat here like, yes! It's gonna kill Stardew Valley! <laughs> that's never what I, that's never, never, never what I want, you know? Um, what I want is, I just like this kind of game, so I'd like to have more of them. I love The Sims. I'd love to have more Life Sim games. I, I'll play 10 Life Sim games, just like I play 10 farming games, and that's totally fine with me. Um, it's, I'm okay with that. We don't really have anything that is competition for The Sims yet, so we, oh my god, she can't, she actually can't get pregnant. Maybe I'll try and, um, maybe I'll age Eloise down and then do it. Or set her to get me pregnant. You can't do this while a sim is dying. Oh, no. Oh, well, that's really inconvenient. So you guys were asking earlier, why do you, why do some of them have two graves? This is why. This is the exact reason why. Because of this very scenario. <sighs> okay. Hold on. Um, let me see if I can find Eloise. Sim commands, revive sim. Mm, can you, can I summon her? MC cheats, I guess. Summon sim, okay. Hold on. The way she's very flirty and mourning at the same time. <laughs> I haven't been able to get pregnant fast enough uh, these days. This, all the babies today I haven't gotten pregnant fast enough with because I keep, um, tr honestly, trying to have babies with women is a bad idea in this case because it's, like, glitchy, but it's okay. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and age her down and see if that fixes it. But yeah, long story short, I'm excited about Paralyzed. I hope that it's really good. I'm looking, oops, I have to go into cast off full edit mode. I'm looking forward to it. Um, well, this is not going well at all. <laughs> the baby count is 44, right? I thought it was. Let me check. Oh, no, we just had our 45th baby. Baby count is 45. We just birthed it. I forgot. Her name is Eloise. I used to have all my sims be named Eloise. Not kidding. I just typed testing cheats no instead of testing cheats on. Um, okay. No, especially, I buy my sims packs all on, uh, I was gonna say Origin, on the EA app, um, cause 
They've been, that's been around longer than The Sims has been on Steam. So. Make it so she can get others pregnant. Testing cheats? Nope. <laughs> well, hopefully it works better this time. Because she was going to die before, so it wasn't going to work. This is not going that well. We are not thriving. Okay. Um. <laughs> Maybe we can now try again, perhaps in like the shower. See if that works. She's gonna age up into an adult now because it's taking too long. Come on, wasn't sure if it made a difference or not. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I just do it because it's what I'm familiar with and what I'm most comfortable with. Um, I don't, I don't, I've never bought any Sims packs on Steam because. I've just never needed to, so. And I kind of prefer the EA, which is, this is a shocking thing to say, but for The Sims specifically, I kind of prefer the EA app. Never thought you'd see the day where I said that, huh? <laughs> but. Oh my god, what is wrong with you? Can we not woohoo? You guys, this is gonna, I, I, this, it's taking, it's, it's gone too far. It's gone too far. Come on. Come on, don't be sad. Oh my god. Should I buy a pea bush? No, Steam does have pack sales. Um, the packs do go on sale on Steam still. No, the door's not locked. Oh. Oh. Oh, dear. Okay, hold on, chat. I need to do something really quickly. <laughs> I need to, um, I think we have to adjust this just a, just a bit here. I need to put Cameron first. And then we have to... I have to try and shrink this. So, Cameron, you, you, then Zoe, and then Eloise. Okay. Okay. Because it's glitching with the floor up there. There's no staircase. That's not why this is happening, but that is why everyone kept coming in the back door instead of the front door. I didn't notice that it did that. Um, drag the basement height down. Yeah, you can drag it down, but I it really bothers me how it looks. This is so silly, but the way that it looks when the basement is dragged down and there's like the weird gapping um, has always really bothered me. I prefer when it lines up perfectly like this. I know that's dumb, trust me, but I, I have like a weird preference about it. Oh. So I don't like to drag it down. Um, I mean, I could if I had to, but in this case, it's fine. Oh my god, do I have to cheat your knees so that you'll p use the woohoo bush? Weenie roast was awful. Are you leaving? No, they're gonna do it, okay. We'll see if we actually get pregnant this time. Come on. Come on, Eloise. This is really complicated for no reason. No, you can't be unflirty. Are we pregnant now? Oh God, finally. Okay, go take a pregnancy test. Go take a pregnancy test. Go take a pregnancy test. I'll kill Eloise again. Um, sim commands, maintain sim, kill sim. She, I guess she died from, was it overexertion before? I'll kill her from that again. Okay, bye. As soon as your pregnancy test is done, yay, we're pregnant. 
Now you should be able to, oh, go super efficient newborn care and then I'll age the baby up. Baby care, age up. Okay, what are you doing? Oh my God. Are you gonna super efficient newborn care? Looks like it. Come on. If you don't take the pregnancy test, uh, the game will just tell you you're pregnant in 24 hours. So you do find out 24 hours later um, if they're pregnant. Well, now this is gonna take forever. Where's Grim? More choices, baby care, age up, okay. Super efficient newborn care is an interaction you unlock when you're high in the parenting skill. Intense. Um, and it's nice because they, they do like all the things the baby needs at once. So they'll like change the diaper, feed it, all that stuff. All together. Saves you some time and stress. Okay, so Grim is still isn't here. So that's no good. I might have to just reset. What? Where's my second grave? Huh. Okay, well... Maybe I'll buy one. Is it in my inventory? Oh, we're fine. Don't worry, I got it. <gasps> ah! I have two of that one too. Some of them I had to kill twice, just like her. That's not too bad. All right. Well, we've made some good progress today. Um, in the spreadsheet, we are now pregnant with baby number 46 with Eloise Hiddle sticks. So that's also exciting. Um, I'll show you. We've had quite a few kids today. We gave birth to three. We kicked out a whole bunch from the house. Um, we're not doing so bad. We're not doing so good either. <laughs> but next time we play, things should hopefully go a little bit better for us. We're, we're kind of on a roll right now. Um, thankfully. <laughs> 45, almost 46 babies. Next time we play, we might get to 50. And that'll be good. Okay, I am getting the stream right here though, I think. Um, I will be here uh, on Monday, cause on Monday, we're gonna do the new shell. We're gonna do like a little Halloween shell challenge on Monday. Um, so that is the plan. Uh, stay tuned for that, we'll start that on Monday. And then on Tuesday, we might finish it. I'm not sure how long it'll take us. Um, but I am going to go on that note and find someone to write. Happy, happy Saturday. Have a great rest of your weekend, everybody. Um, I will see you all later. Oops, you didn't need to see that. <laughs> you see me pulling up my, um, my thingy to find someone to write. Um, oh, I know what to do. There is another streamer called Pale Green M who is also playing the 100 baby challenge. So maybe we can go over there uh, and say hi to them and we can watch their baby challenge. <laughs> Cause what we really want is more baby challenge today, right? We've, we've not seen enough, we need more of it. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you all on Monday. I don't stream on Sunday, so I won't be here tomorrow. Um, but have a wonderful rest of your day. I will catch you all tomorrow. No, Monday, <laughs> I just said that. Um, and I'll see you later. Okay, okay, good night everyone, bye.